Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. What's happening? What's going on? No, it's it's okay. I'll wait for you to finish eating so that we can talk. No, I'm not going to eat. What's what's happening? Oh, no, I insist. Just finish up your meal. And then we'll talk. No. no, baby, please don't no, no, don't, don't let no, me I'm ruin done, your I'm appetite. done. Really, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, talk to me. You can just eat all. No, talk to me, please. What's happening? I can't eat when you're sad. Come on, talk to me, please. Talk to me. Hmm? Come and talk to me. It's, it's my father. Your father? What about your father? What happened? My father called me and my mom yesterday. Okay. And he warned me against ever bringing food for you. In fact, he said he never wants to see me take food out of the compound. And that's not all. He also asked me about my proposed marriage to you. I didn't understand it at first until he went further to say that that now that everything, I mean, you've lost everything, your businesses and all, and she don't have anything you're doing right now, that he wants me to totally forget about you and not and not think of, think of the marriage proposal. Instead, that I should choose I should choose amongst those other people that are coming to ask for my hand in marriage. He said you can barely feed and that you can't feed me. That you can't even feed yourself, talk more feeding feeding me. You needed to have seen the look on his face when he was saying all this. He meant it. He was serious. He looked scary. You mean he said all that? Yes. And what did your mother say? My mother was on my side. She said, if marrying you will make me happy, then she, she's in support. It doesn't matter whether you're poor or rich. That if I'm happy, then, then it's fine by her. Ah, life. Life. Ah, life. Ah, so, so because my shops are now burnt, because I am now broke. Your father now, now insults me, calls me all sorts of names because life has taken an ugly turn. Life. I mean, the, the one that hurts me most is, is Cynthia. You know, saying Cynthia, what did that girl do? I had to send her back to her parents because I, I'm broke. I can't take care of her and take care of myself too. You mean you sent her back? Of course I had to. I had to. Why are you talking as if you don't know what is going on? Why are you talking as if you don't know my state? I mean, this is food from your house. You bring food to me here from your house. Would I have ordered two flasks? Two flasks will come here? What would that make me? What? It's, 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 okay. it's okay. One thing I know for a fact is that everything happening now 
it's only but temporal. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be fine. God will fix it. Okay? Uh, I you're going to you're going to bounce back. You are going to be on your feet again soon. I believe it. Okay, don't give up. Don't give up, please. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst that can happen to you. Okay? Don't give up. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that there could just be one way out of what out of this. Way? What way? What way? What way? And this is my condition. What way? From where? From where? Um, stop <sighs> Make me a woman. What do you mean, make me a woman? What? 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 It's okay. Get me pregnant. Stop it. Sir. Save yourself. Uh, uh, my Milo, I'm fine, sir. No, no, no. Save yourself, no problem. No, save, no. save yourself. Milo, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I, I know you're fine. This is Okwego's house. You can't come to Okwego's house and refuse to take something. Uh, save yourself. Milo, see, the truth of the matter is that, you know, this time, this period, I, I, stop, I don't drink. Oh, so stop, I'm not stop, drinking. It, stop it. I know what you like. I know. I, Stop yourself, no problem. Stop yourself. If you, if you insist, sir. So. Good on. Stop, bro. Sir. Um, you see this drink? Yes, sir. I want you to look at this name, and you will see that it's a big drink. So that before you serve yourself, you will ask yourself, after taking this drink today, will you be able to buy it tomorrow? This drink is so expensive. And it is my friend's son that stays abroad that gave it to me. Eh? So that is why I brought it. Because what I'm about to tell you is very, very expensive. And very, very important. Eh? So, don't worry. After today, you will know quite well why I serve you this drink. But don't worry, I will serve you myself. Sir, I... Is this one okay? Sir, I don't understand, sir. Don't worry. I will understand. Let me cover me. Aha! Sir, I sent for you. And... Uh, I know my daughter must have told you what uh, I told her. But in case, if she did not, I will tell you. And I want you to open your ears wide so that you can hear me clearly. So, I want everything you have to do with my daughter, every relationship you, you have with my daughter to end today. Why? I know why. Because my daughter Ugoma is no longer available. My in law. How would you say a thing like that now? Well, the reason is simple. I will tell you. I don't want my daughter to go into a man's house and starve herself to death in the name of marriage. You yourself, you know that for the past months now, you are not doing anything. You, you, you are idle. So how will you feed my daughter? How will you, how will you take care of her? I will take care of her. You don't have any job. You don't, nothing. You have even sold your car. Okay, now let me ask you. How do you feel? You know, I don't understand this question. You don't understand? I don't understand. I will tell you. Since you don't understand, I will tell you. All the food stuffs I have in this house, bag of rice, beans, 
You got it? Even Pamoyo. My daughter has packed all of them to your house. Look at you. Look at how you are shining. You don't even look like somebody that is idle, somebody that is not doing anything. Look at you, how purpose you are, how you are shining. Because I know that my daughter must have packed all my food in your stomach. So, so fancy. You see? That is how you feed. Nayo Kuego, please. I mean, with due respect, you know me. You know me. You know I was rich. I was doing well. So well for myself. You know, the incidents that happened, my shops got burnt in the inferno. I mean, I mean, I was doing well and, you know, the last goods I ordered, I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay for them and then everything went. You know what happened with the customs? I lost everything all at once. Even not for that, I was doing well. But I believe I will stand again. This is not the end of me. I will stand again, believing God. Soporo. Yes, sir. Soporo. Yes, sir. I get that before not the property. Eh? Hmm? I get that before not the property. The fact is that you are not doing anything. You are jobless. You don't have anything. You cannot feed my daughter. So please, I beg you in the name of God, stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see you take 10, 10, 10, 10 miles close to my daughter. I will not warn you again. Anyway, um, I thank God for this uh, peaceful uh, separation. Because like I said, everything will end today so. and that is why i brought this expensive wine because this thing we discuss here now is very very expensive expensive that if you try any nonsense again you will not like what i will do to you let's cheers for the peaceful separation do the cheers okay when well, you are done you know your way out i know no need to stay here because there's no food here to serve you today. Thank God my daughter is not around. She's traveling. <laughs> I said, come back here. Come here. Papa. Listen, Papa, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Come back. Come, 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 come. come. Papa, I'm what are you hiding? I said, come back. Come, come, come here. Come and stand here. Papa, I'm just, um, I'm just going to buy something. I'll come. Let me. You want to go and buy something? Yes, Papa. In Sopro's house. Here. With my food. Papa, we. Ha. Papa, which food? Which food? Which, then what are you hiding? Bring, bring that bag. I want to see what is inside Papa, that bag. I'm not holding any bag, Papa. Come close here. Bring that bag. Come and stand here. Come. Ha, Papa, Papa, you you have to be seen well, though. You have to be seen well because maybe you need your glasses to, 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 to see well. How can you say I'm holding something when I'm not holding anything? Please, let me just go and buy something. You know, that was I'm blind. Eh? I can't see well again. I didn't see so. Ugo, well. bring that bag. I want to see what is inside that bag. Bring that bag. Papa, because Papa. I know that must be my food. You want to take to that stupid boy. Bring that bag. Go, I don't want to get up because if I get up, I will hit you with this stick. Bring that back. Let me have it. Let me have the bag now. Papa, this is not this is not good though. This is not this is not fair. This thing you are doing is not good. If nobody oh. tell you the truth, I will tell you the truth. It's not good. So Ugoma. After all my words that I don't want to see you with that boy again, that fool. You say had the God to take my food to him. Okay?
Even spoon. Even spoon. So, he don't even have spoon. The simplest thing any person can have in this world, spoon. So he's as poor as not having common spoon. Common spoon. You see your life? Papa, it's not good. It's your character. It's see not your life? Do. With all the money that you have in this life, I don't even know what you are doing with money, sir. What are you doing with your money? Get me water. Water for what? Get me drinking water. Yeah. See, you have, you have to change your ways if you must make heaven. No? Because you're just, you're just keeping money and keeping money. The, the simplest thing to give to anybody in this life is food. You cannot even afford to give, give anybody food. Papa, you're too stingy. Oh. Yeah, man, egg. Before. Aqua Aqua. Yeah, man, egg. Is it okay? Give me water. Is it a big deal? Is it a big deal? Papa, see, I change your ways. Okay? I don't know why. All this money that you're keeping, I don't know where, where you're taking it to. Eh? This money cannot, 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 cannot take it anywhere. Okay? Cannot take it. Cannot take it to heaven. Cannot take it to heaven. Let me go and give you the water and rest. In short. Thank you. Give me the water. When was the last time you served me this kind of food? And I'm told you the only one you cook today. For that stupid boy. Papa, this is water. This is the water. Thank but you. remember that there is God and there is tomorrow. There is God and God is in everybody. It's in all of us. This Thank money, you. You, cannot, you cannot take it to heaven. Even the Bible says feed your enemies. Thank God you know that somebody is my, my enemy. It's not your enemy. You know. It's not your enemy. As I'm telling you, you what, the Bible, what the Bible, Bible said. You just eat and grow fat though. It's only when you wait. Papa, if you don't grow fat after eating this egg and yam, that's when you will face me. Just eat and grow fat. Atalange. You make it on the leg, okay? You not be able to be I want to ask you one question. Papa, your husband. Why is he so stingy? Mama, since I was born, Papa has not done anything good. He has not shown love to anybody. He has never assisted anybody financially. Not an insider, not an outsider. Why? Look at him, though. He's your father. Go and ask him. Mama, I saw him before asking you. You and I know that I cannot go and ask Papa that kind of a question. But I'm asking you because you are his wife and you are in the best position to answer me. Wait, too. Oh. Has Papa's stinginess always been, I mean, from the time you people got married? Or somewhere along the line he picked up that trait? Because I'm just confused. I'm wondering if he has always been like this, how have you been managing with him all these years, living with a man like this? <laughs> hey, Mama. Papa's stinginess is not only to outsiders, though. Even we, as his children in this house, we are feeling the heat of his stinginess. Take a look at my brother, Johnson. Where is he? What sent Johnson out of this house? It's not because of Papa's stinginess and unwillingness to give him money to, to, to see him through school. A boy who was willing to go to school. Since two years ago that Johnson left this country, we have not heard anything from him. We don't know if he's doing okay or not. We don't, in fact, we don't even know where he is. Okay. Papa's attitude towards Sopuru. All because the young man suddenly lost everything. Okay, what about me? Am I not Papa's legitimate daughter? Am I not his child? Common money for Jambo. I've been in this house. Papa cannot give me money to go and buy jam form. He said I should go and learn her handwork. For somebody who wants to go to school. Some men are ready to sponsor their children. It's, in fact, it's the children who are not ready to bring their heads down and go to school. But in my own case, I'm ready to go to school. I have a father who can afford it, who has the money. But yet, he said I should go and learn handwork. <laughs> Look at the house we live in. Considering Papa's wealth, are we not supposed to have like a duplex in this compound? Yes, oh yes, he can afford it. But no, he won't. Come on to buy clothes for himself, no way. Papa's been wearing the same set of clothes for like how many years now? All he does with his money is to buy keke upon keke upon keke upon. Fact, Papa wants to fill the entire road with keke. Who does that? That's his only way of showing wealth. Keke, keke, not even reasonable. Keke. Ha, Mama, you have really tried to have married this man up to this level. You have tried. <laughs> Stingy man. I am tired of you, Father. Can't you see? <laughs> I am tired of you. 
He's the type that doesn't want anybody to put him out. Hmm. Or to talk to him about anything he's doing. Ah, no what? So I have decided to start my own. Let him do whatever he wants. Hmm. You, know, you have tried though. Okay. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Pregnant? Eh? Ha! Pregnant kwa? You say how? Huh? Ugoma, you're pregnant? Papa, please, oh, biko, biko, biko. Don't call my name and add pregnancy to it, oh. How can you call my name and call pregnant? How? How? It's only pregnant people that vomit. The queen, man. Don't you hear? Mama just said that it's possible I have malaria, typhoid, or warm. Yes. If somebody is suffering from either of these three, you can, you can actually vomit now. Ugoma, you're pregnant. You are pregnant. At least I know one when I see it. Papa, you a doctor? Uh -uh, how can you be sure? Ma, what do you mean by that? Can you do Ask me, oh. Huh? Eh? Can, can somebody oh. not? <laughs> hey! Who got my? You are counting one to three. Oh, go ahead, BC, do I be with the chin? You are counting one to three. Woman, have you seen it? Have you seen your daughter? Your daughter is pregnant. Are you not ashamed that you are in this house and your daughter is pregnant? You don't know. Now tell me what makes you a good mother. I am not a doctor, but at least I know when, when a woman is pregnant. You taught me that when I married you newly. At least no time you got pregnant. Is it wrong to keep a, some, a pregnant woman in your house without... Sopru, so, so, listen to me. Um, here is what I think we can do. Let's run around. I mean, you and I. Let's put our heads together. Let's see whatever we can get from anywhere, however little it is. The king's, the dreams for the king's men is not, is not like do or die for now. I mean, we can always come back and do that when we're ready. But if we can as much as just get the bride price, we're good to go. The bride price, more cola and, you know, just, you know, and we can always come back and do the whole big ceremony. Look, listen to me. I understand everything you're saying. But look, it's not the end of the world. Oh yes, we're broke. But that we're broke today does not mean we're going to be broke forever. Or even tomorrow. Okay? All of these things you've mentioned now, it's going to fall into place. I don't know. This is why. Why now? Why me? This was nothing. Now this this whole thing was hey. so money to me before I now. Look, look at me. I don't know. Sopro, do you love me? Of course, I love you. Good. Do you still want to marry me? Why not? I want to marry you. Do you want us to spend the rest of our lives together? Yes. You see, that's all that matters. This is all that matters, what we share, you and I. You love me and I love you. 
and that we both are ready to stay together the rest of our lives. It's all that matters. Every other thing is just a formality and we will get to that bridge and cross it. Okay? My love. Cheer up. Don't give up on me. I have to thank you very, very much for accepting us the way we came. Uh, I also want to assure you that your daughter, our wife, is in very safe hands. We will take very, very good care of her. I assure you of that. Um, when we are ready for the traditional marriage and, uh, of course, the white wedding, we will let you know. Hmm? We will let you know. I Meanwhile, I pray that the gods of our land shall continue to bless you. No more. 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 My in laws, thank you very, very much. Uh, uh, we appreciate your coming. In fact, um, we are overwhelmed. My daughter, Ugum Tarata, Oyoko Yokuma, no, Biko Badokwanya. This is your husband. Always search his heart and satisfy him. That is one of the qualities of a good wife. Suffer so my in law. You know very well that this is my only daughter. Now, please, take good care of her, you know? And God will continue to make your marriage to be fruitful. In Jesus' name. He said. You know? He said. <laughs> Nine. I don't know what you have to tell them so that they will start going. It's getting dark already. What do you want me to tell them? You have said it all as a man of the house. What do you want me to say? Uh, well, um, you all have heard what your in-law, Nai Beatrice, has said. Hmm? You have heard him or her. I don't know which one, uh, which one you are. It's the correct one. And you. You have given, given out your daughter's hand in marriage to them without drink. Make sure when your fellow homeowner come, you give them that drink because they must surely ask for it. You must go. Nareto, it's a bad place. It's a even. Nareto, I don't want to do it. On the call, on the phone, on the call. I don't mean to work. Nareto, it's a even. Ngwa, Nareto. Emana. What are you doing? Um, it's a hard set. You can now go. She had given you her daughter. Daughter sent the marriage. You can go.
my love. Are you okay? Why are you not why are you not eating? Hmm? I'm worried. Worried over what? Over everything. I mean, in two months you put to bed. And not bought anything for the child. No clothes yet for our unborn child, not even talk of hospital bills. I mean, when I remember all these things, it, I mean, my heart just breaks. I. <sighs> I understand you, baby. I, I understand. But what can we do? What are we going to do? Um, I think I might have a suggestion. You mm. have a suggestion? I think so. Okay, what is it? I've been thinking on my own too. So I don't know if you can approach my dad so that he can give you one of his keke to drive. That way, we can save up something. I mean, if he gives you and you're driving it, even if you're doing daily accounts to him, you will still have something left. I mean, there's no way you go out to drive keke every day that you won't have at least something to come back home with. And then before you know it, we will start saving towards our unborn child. In fact, before these two months that we are expecting our baby, we would have bought almost everything with that we need. <laughs> My love, you have a point. It's a good idea, yeah. but um, I doubt that will, <laughs> that will ever happen because uh, your father hates me now. He hates me. The man, you know, he can't stand my side. So, I mean, <laughs> it's impossible. It's nothing is impossible. I know that my father hates you. But you can only try. There's no harm in trial. In fact, you're not going to buy any form or fill any form mm -hmm. or pay any money to ask. It won't cost you anything. Let's just ask. How can we know when we have not even asked now? Eh, let's ask. There's no harm. Okay. Better still, I can ask first. I'm his daughter. He's not a devil now. However wicked he is, there's no way he would deny me. So let me ask him first. I'm sure he would grant. Yeah. You can go ahead and try, but uh, I doubt. I doubt. Hey. I doubt. <laughs> I doubt. My Lord, why are you so? Why are you so? Why are you? Why are you being negative? Because I know the man. That man doesn't like me now. See, eh? you need a positive thinking mind. There's a lot of good in positivity, you. You don't know, and you can't just you can't you can't approach things like this without um, this thing. Okay. But, uh, please don't be don't be don't be negative. Okay, no problem. Hmm? Okay. And you see that my father, eh? <laughs> my father is a nice man, oh. low key. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's your cool. See, the only problem that man has is his, is his money. He doesn't joke with money. Anything money. <laughs> in fact, he loves his money more than his life. And that's why I believe that he's going to grant this request because this is business. As long as you don't default. My father likes money. You're greasing his palm. And that, that's all that matters to him. So please, I'll go and ask him. Yeah. Like I said, go and try. I'll try. And I will not only try, I will succeed. He will grant us. If you say so. I say so. Now, finish up your food. I've been the only one eating this food. Mm. Please get up. No, 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 no. Your condition is not good for, for you to be kneeling with it. Biko, biko, bine, please. Please get up first. 
get up. And no, no, get up. Bini, get up. Sit down. It's okay. Nine. Please. Help our daughter. Help them. She needs your help. You have a lot of keke on the road. Help our son-in-law with one. He will be accounting for you. From there, he will be saving up money for our daughter's delivery, for hospital bills, for the coming of the newborn baby. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Papa, be cool. Papa, please. Papa, have mercy. Please. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? It has started. Because when I was warning you, I was telling you, get married to a suitable person that can take good care of you. He said no. Hey, Papa, I love him. You love him. I love him. Now, who said that? But I was in love. Let that love feed you or give you money to wait for your delivery. I don't know why you children of nowadays hardly uh, listen to uh, elderly advice. If I said I will not do anything now, we say, eh, my, my father is wicked, uh, he is heartless, he has a heart of uh, 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 stone. Forgetting that I won't do this, I won't do it before when, when nothing has happened. It's okay. You have seen it? Papa, no, 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 don't kneel like that. I'm sorry now, I'm it's sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, I love you. Okay. I love something. I love him. Huh? You love him. I am talking and you are still talking about love. You love him. About love. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Don't kneel I'm down. Sorry. I won't say that again. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ask him to see me. Let me see what I can hey. do. Hey. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Papa, thank you. Hey. Nandalo. But you have to warn him that I don't joke with the money. I found Bokwego. My name is Sokwego. I don't joke with the money. A job make it Warn him, tell him that I don't with my money so that he will make sure that he will be in my account every day. Failing to do so, he will not like my action. Papa, no problem. Papa, I promise you. I'll make sure that he, he does his daily returns. I, I promise. You had her. You had her. Okay. He will. How come I get you? He will. Yeah, okay, okay. One night. One night. Are you not done cooking that food? No, I'm almost done. No, you're almost done. Come on. Now you wouldn't know why you're on. Take it easy, young This guy is too lazy. Hey, hey! Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to the kitchen. Go help him so that he hold up Ah, is she not old enough to cook? Ah, oh, your your father, Mba. Papa, thank you, sir. Thank you. Nah, I'll go. Easy. <laughs> Um, Sopul, Sir. your wife has talked and talked and pleaded on your behalf. And uh, the reason I accepted to do what I want to do now is because she is my daughter. And I don't need to talk too much again. That keke packed out there, I will give it to you. On higher purchase for 800,000 naira. That keke is a new keke. I bought it two years ago. And uh, one more thing you will be paying 4,000 naira every day as your daily account. Any day you complete your 800,000, the keke becomes yours. Have I made myself clear? Um, 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 yes, sir. But, sir, um, 800,000, you know, Papa. I... Papa, 
I mean, this is, if you want to help us, just help us for real. How can you say 800,000 Naira? How are we going to recover from that? No, how are we going to save for our unborn child? 800,000 Naira for that old tete part out there, Papa. 800,000 Naira, is that how much you collect from other people? Hmm. It's too much. 800,000 Naira is too much. Look at this one. 800,000 is too much. Do you know that I collected that kick from, from the driver because of you? And you are telling me that 800,000 is too much. Do you know how much that person is supposed to balance me? In fact, I am no longer uh, giving sir, you. Sir, my, my, my love, please, I will, I will take it. We'll take the keke. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, we'll take, we'll take, darling, please, please, nine. please, please. Uh, we need this money now, please. Nah, please, can I say something? No, this is business. You don't have to say anything because you don't know anything about business. Um, um, my in-law, we'll, we'll take the keke. We'll take the key. Please, can I have the key? The key? Yes. Um, first of all, we have to sign some papers no before giving you the key. No Let me get the, the, get the papers and the key no so problem, that tomorrow you will not deny me. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God keep you, sir. Babe, 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 please, 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 please. I know what I'm doing. We need this money. Let's not pretend like we don't. Please. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Please. Don't shout. Please. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Oh my, my god. Love, my love, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Just one step at a time. One step, one step at a time. One step, one step at a time. One step at a time. Yes. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. You're doing well. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, easy. easy. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Easy. Okay. One step at a time, okay? One step, one step at a time. One step, one step. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. You're doing well. Just one step at a time. One step, one step, one step. Huh? One step. Good, good, good. You remember? Huh? Remember, good, 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 good. You're doing well. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. Um, you got what? things for the baby, eh? The bag for the baby. What about it? It's inside. It's inside. It's inside. Mm. It's inside. Okay, let's go to the cake no. first. Eh? Go and get it. Huh? I'll get myself to the cake. Are, are you sure? Go and get are you sure? Okay, okay. Are, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, manage you. Wait, wait, what is this now? What's wrong with you? Eh? Eh? You say? Oh, what? 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 You said you were going to manage. I can't manage. No, no, go, 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 go. Okay, go. Okay, my love. Okay, easy, easy. easy, easy. I'm holding your waist, your waist now. I'm holding it. Easy, 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 easy. You're doing well. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. 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 Yes, my darling. Yes. Yeah, I'm holding. I'm holding you now. I'm holding you. I'm holding you. You're doing well. Yes, yes, yes. You're doing well. We're almost there. 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 We're almost, there. Eh? We're, almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Huh? We're almost there. We're almost there. Carry my leg. Carry my leg. Easy, easy. It's this one. Eh? This one. Okay. Eh? So, eh? Sorry, I'm easy. Eh? I'm easy. Easy now. I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. Eh? I should carry the second one. Okay. 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 Eh? Okay. Eh? All right. Eh? Um, oh, the bag. The bag. Sorry, easy, 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 oh. Uh, my love, my love, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh God, I'm here. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Oh God. Sorry, my love. Hurry now, hurry. I'm hurrying now. Please, what was happening? Uh, what's going on now? Why are you wasting time? What's happening now? I, I should have heard the cry of a baby now. What's going on with my baby? Your baby? Yes. Is your baby sick and want to take injection? Which one is uh, baby sick and want to get injection? My, my wife is in the labor room now and I expect to hear the cry of a baby by now. Okay, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm coming from the ward and not the labor room. I'm sorry. But you are wasting too much time now. They should have given information on what is going on now. Is this the way you, my, somebody's heart is flying somewhere now? Ah, you should know how to do these things quick now. Let this baby come out quick now. Ah, ah, uh -huh. um, doctor, what's, what's happening? What's happening, please? What's going on with my baby? What's happening? I'm not here to cry of my baby now. Calm down, Mr. Sopo. Everything will be fine. <laughs> but we have a little complication. Complication? 
Well, what's the complication? What happened now? But it's not much of a problem. Then what is now? the problem? Now what's the problem? Okay. Your wife has to undergo a caesarean section before she can have her baby. And that means an operation has to be carried out. Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Okay, you just need to pay a certain amount of money and then sign some papers before we can start working. Like how much? Say 120,000 naira. 120,000 naira? 120,000 That's too much now. Hey. Okay, um, all right, uh, no, no problem, but I'm... Uh, hey, God. You can do this, Mr. Sokol. You can't. You see, I can do it. You don't know what my pocket looks like, but no problem. I'll... My God. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go and get uh, uh, the 120,000 naira, but please, just go and bring out the baby. Eh? I'll, I'll bring the money, please. Eh? Hurry up, we have no time. Please, please. Okay, please let me Mr. Chinedu's files. Now. Okay. Now. some money. He will agree. Then I'll pay him back. I'm sure he will help. She needs somebody to be taking care of, I know. Teaching her things she's supposed to know. Batting the child. Washing clothes. Doing not maybe a miracle, no? Eh? To make her strong. Betty, do you know that at times if you talk, I begin to wonder if you have said the Beatrice are married years ago. Because you have changed. You are asking me if 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 you if you don't go there, what will happen? How will how how will, how, how, will, how will she cook? How will she uh, is her husband not there? Is her husband not there? Let the husband enter the kitchen and cook for, her, for his wife. Wash uh, uh, the baby's clothes. Or better say, you send one necker to go there. She's a woman. Oh, Kuego. Oh, Ruan and Kodia. Is she not a woman? How can I send this little girl to, 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 to Omugwa? What does she know? This one. Huh? Okay, what does she know? Hey! But you said that she will be cooking my food. To go and cook for your daughter, this thing, and her husband, she's a small girl. But is it, a small girl to cook for her Is it all about cooking food? Now, let me tell you something. I got more than one million. Let me tell you something, something. Beatrice. You see this, Omugwa? You will go there, but on one condition. That you will not stay there more than a day. If you live here now, first thing tomorrow morning, before 8 o'clock, you are back to this place. Nine. Failing to do that, you will come back here and meet another woman. Nine, Kawashi. I'm not coming back tomorrow. As for women, Load this uh, this house with women. Eh? I don't care. Eh? Eh? Twenty fifty on that uh, this evening. Load them. I, I don't care. Yes. Have you forgotten? Beatrice, you see, have you forgotten? Forgotten what? Nah, I forgotten what? Your family's problem. Have you forgotten? That I am the one that sponsored your father's burial. On condition that I will hate all his properties. I will hear them. So if you don't take time, I will just come to your family and claim everything. I am supposed to hear everything, but I show mercy because I like your family. Don't push me to the wall. Because if I change my mind to claim those things, even your brothers cannot face me. You know what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Go for me. Stay there for eternity. I see what will happen. Uncle, don't worry, I'll be cooking for you. I can't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill you. 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 I'm going to kill
Quite kind of teacher, you're not some apple. You'll be cooking for me. You heard what I said? Eight o'clock tomorrow morning, thank you to do so. So you mean Papa threatened you with that? My daughter. Your father is so impossible. So impossible. I don't know. That is why I must go tomorrow. I don't know why he's like that. I don't just know. Please, I must go. Well, to answer your question, my law hates me. Yes, he hates me because I am now poor. But he forgets that he met me a rich man. If not for this fire incident, I mean, I mean, would he do this? Would he say you will only stay one day? There is God. There is God. That's all I'll say. There is God. Mama, let me ask you. Is that your husband truly my father? Ugoma, are you in any way accusing me of sleeping around with men outside my marriage? Mama, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I... Mama, I'm sorry, please. Please, you're sorry. I'm sorry. She's sorry. Please forgive her. It's just that, you know, she's surprised that her father will be acting this way in her current condition. She's sorry. Please, we are sorry. It's okay. I understand. Meanwhile, my sister will be coming to stay with you. She will do whatever I am supposed to do for the Omogo. She's a mother. You mean Auntie Agnes? Yes. Will she come? Yes. I have discussed with her. She'll be here by tomorrow. Hmm. It's okay. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? Am I not ashamed of myself? I am. I am not even happy that I'm not the one taking care of my daughter because of her father's behavior. But there's no problem. It's well. It's well. Hey, Let me go and boil water for you to take your bath. Since our baby is already sleeping. Okay, Mama. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I wish it's my mother that is staying true for this Omungo. It's okay. Your auntie is also a mother, so technically everything will be the same. I know she's a mother, but. It's not like my mother now. It's my okay. mother is my mother. Okay. It can't be like my Everything mother. It'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. God knows best. God knows best. Ne, won't you go and check the food on the fire before it gets burnt? The food is not done. I checked it for me, ago. Yeah. I don't want your uncle to come back and start complaining, you know, 
you know, the first thing he will ask now is food. Food. Hey, Mama, I would like to go and see if you go and Oh, don't worry, you will go. Oh, there's still time for it. Uko is back. Open the gate. <laughs> now you are welcome. Uh, How are they now? Uh, they are fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, they are fine. Uh, they are fine. Uh, go and give me a quarter to drink. Okay. That's it. No. <laughs> Let me tell you. You see that boy that calls himself my in-law and uh, our daughter? I don't, I, I don't understand them at all. Oh, I, 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 don't know, I don't know if what they are, the only thing they are good at is eating fresh fish and the, uh, uh, the salad soup. <laughs> if you see the kind of fresh fish they served me, you will ask yourself if they are the same people we are saying that they are poor. I don't know if the money people are dashing the child and or the, the money uh, support is getting from KK, they, are, they are using it to, uh, to eat fresh fish and, uh, and, and the salad soup. Somebody will tell me that hey, they are poor, they are poor. Go there and see, see things for yourself. The fresh fish they served me, I don't know that. It's bigger than this, this, this bar. Oh, go. Is it a crime for them to welcome you well with good food? Are we in order? Huh? Anyways, even if they didn't give you anything, you will still complain. Because that is your nature. Must it be fresh fish? Am I there, Yeah? Yeah? Must it be fresh fish? Don't you know how much fresh fish is sold in the market? Huh? Please let me ask you. I hope you gave them money after eating that uh, 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 salad soup. I gave them money. I gave them money. Like how much? How much I gave them is none of your business. Mm. I gave them enough money. One night, can I bring the water now? <clears throat> um, I hope the food. One must ask about uh, the food. There the is one, food. Uh, uh, there is food. Only a funny. Ah. Ah. I want to eat that soup again. I'll prepare it, don't worry. Um, um, yeah? my love, yes. how about the Pampas money you promised to give me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm so sorry, I'm so, oh. so sorry. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hi. Um, so how much? 1,400. 1,400. 1,000. You can look. You can look. <laughs> you know all the money I have. Everything. I <laughs> Mm, can look. Okay, this is two thousand naira. You will. Mm. Yeah, if you need anything uh, Thank you. else, just go ahead. Eh? Okay. Uh -huh. All right, my love. Mm? Take care. Yeah, you mm? should take care. I wish you plenty of customers today and plenty of money. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> mm? You be careful, okay? You too be careful, eh? I remember right. everything will be fine. I know. I'll I be believe back on my you. feet again. Everything will be fine. I believe in you. This is just a process. I know. Okay. All right, take care of yourself, All right, eh? Be careful, love. You too be careful, eh? Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Be careful, lo. <laughs>
Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Try, try, please. Let's go. It's okay. Please. Please. It's okay. Please take it easy here. Take it easy here. Easy. Right, let's go, let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Take it easy. It's okay. Uh, Agatha, lock the door, lock the door. Keke, come and help me, please. Fast, 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 fast. Please, from that side. There. Okay. It's okay. Fast, 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 fast. What do we do? Because I don't want to lose my mother. As I said before, it's either we bring a specialist down here to treat your mother, or we take your mother down to a new home. Either way, we decide you have to make a deposit of 500,000 naira. Yes. You see, your mother is suffering from a cervical cancer. And with my test I carried out, the thing has spread. We have limited time to save that woman's life. She's important to you, so it's important to us. So we just have to do something and so we can save her life. Doctor, honestly, I do not have that kind of money. But if I manage to, if I, if I, if I manage to raise the money, uh, how long will it take you to invite the doctor from Enugu? That will not take a long time. Immediately you deposit the money, I put call, he will be here. It won't take time. Doctor, please. Uh, can you collect 250,000 naira? I, I can't afford 500,000 naira, honestly. If we have to take your mother to Inugu, it will be more expensive. Okay? Besides, the person we are talking about is a specialist. And the equipment that will be used are very expensive. I would suggest we run around to do that now. Now that we still have the time. Please. Okay, doctor, I'll ask you what I can do. Yes. Alright, thank you. You have to be fast, okay? Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. I don't want to lose my mother. Please, they know my Please what help me. It? I don't want to lose my mother. Stand, stand up. up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. What is it? My mother, I uh, have surgery. The, the, the doctor asked for 500,000 naira. Please, I, I need your help. Please, I beg you. Please. 500,000 naira? Yes, uncle. It's okay. I will give you the money. 
she will give me the money. Uncle, may God bless you. Uncle, anything you lay your hands upon shall continue to prosper. Yes, Uncle, you will never lack in this life. Yes, your generation will never lack in this life. Yes, in fact, your generations to come, Uncle, will never lack in this life. Yes, may God continue to bless you, Uncle. Yes, God bless you. You know what? Yes, Uncle. It has to be on one condition. You have to use what you have to get what you want. Use what I have to get what I want. Exactly. Uncle, I don't understand. Can you explain to me? You have to give me that portion of land at the new site. Then I will give you the money. Uncle, how, how can you talk this way? That portion of land for 500,000 Naira. But Uncle, that the same portion of land. You remember that somebody came last year to buy that the same land for 2.5 million Naira. And I refused. Uncle, that was the only land my father left. I know, Bim. The only land my father left for me. For five, oh no, come on, Uncle. You know, I, I, that, that's not possible. It's, it's not possible, Uncle. I was about to leave him when you came. If you know you are not comfortable with what I said, because I didn't say this for us to be dragon issues. If you are not comfortable with it, you can lose somewhere else to get the money. Or don't you know this is an emergency? Uh, it's, it's okay, it's, it's okay, Uncle. I, can, 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 can I have the money now? You have to come back tomorrow. Uncle, tomorrow is too far. I will lose my mother if I don't pay the money today, please, Uncle. Biko, please, please. I beg you, I need the money today, please. Oh, just okay. Take it, take the land, 500,000, no problem. It's, I, it's, I need the money today, it's, please. It's, it's alright. You know what? I'll have to instruct my lawyer to prepare the documents. Simple as that. Uncle, if I just give me the money, why you instruct your lawyer don't to prepare worry. it? Don't worry. The lawyer will prepare the documents, eh? It's okay. You can go. Just come back, like I said, tomorrow. The money will be ready for you. It's alright. Go well and extend my greetings to your mother. If you'll excuse me, eh? Uncle? Uh, uncle, but what, 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 what is... Don't worry, I said come back tomorrow. Why is uncle this wicked? Why? So he refused to give you the money. He refused. Unless you give him our only land. Hey! That man is wicked. Yet he postponed it to tomorrow, knowing how urgent we need this money. You see why I told you not to go and meet him for that money? I knew he would not do anything. You see? That man is wicked. God is only God that we, that we pay him. But no problem. We are in this life together. I don't know why uncle hates us this much, honestly. The reason behind this hatred is what I still can't fat on till now. I don't now. even know. I can't tell. But right now, we don't have any option. So, tomorrow I'll go and meet him, sign the documents, let him have the land. We need this money for the surgery, honestly. Yeah. But don't worry. I now make money efficient. I'll buy more land. And but brother, must you go and meet him again? Why don't you just look for a buyer to, to sell the land to and make money? What do you think? The time is too short. The doctor said we have to raise the money from now to tomorrow morning, else something might, terrible might happen. Hey, hey God, why, 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 why all this problem? Why? Why is Uncle this wicked? Why? Why all this? What have we done? Agatha, please. This is no time for this lamentation. Please. Um, we, we have to go home, okay? Because you have to cook and bring back food to Mama this night. Then I have to sleep over in the morning. I will meet uncle, sign the documents, get the money. But meanwhile, I think I have to tell the doctor to hold on for me till tomorrow morning. Then you meet one of the nurses and tell them to look after mama, depending when you come back. Okay? okay no problem. It's okay. This man is very wicked. Okay. He's very wicked. It's okay. God will judge him. It's okay. God will judge him. It's okay, please. It's okay. Let's go.
What am I going to do now? What is all this? This is not. This is just unlike my husband. This is unlike him. There's never a time he stays out in this late. Something bad must have happened to him. God forbid. It is not his portion. Huh? Nothing bad will happen to him. Huh? You know all this. Sorry, sir. Hey! Oh, God, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sir. Oh. Hey! Sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. No, Auntie. I don't know, but this is unlike him. This is unlike my husband. Hey, ha! A lot happened to him. Oh God, have mercy on us, so. Eh? What are we going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. Hey! My love, what happened? Hey! What is this? Jesus. Blood! What happened? What happened to you? Where, where is your keke? Please, please. Let no. me just go inside. Hey. Talk to me! Please, let me go inside. Hey, God! Hey. Hey. What is this? all this and the police took all your monies again mm. ah, this is too much now mm. so so ha, those policemen are very wicked for seeing your condition instead of them to accompany you to the hospital 
what they were after was your money. Tomorrow, they will say that eh, they are protecting lives and properties without knowing that some of them are criminals. They are the actual thieves. Eh? Uh -uh. God will punish them. God must punish them very well. Hey. Hey. Um, my love, the, 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 the man and his sister, uh -huh. where are they from? Yes. The truth is, if I see them, I will not recognize them. If I mm -hmm. see them tomorrow, next tomorrow, I might not <laughs> recognize who they are. There was no time for introductions. Oh. But my happiness is that I did what my spirit told me to do. Hey. I saved the life, took the boy to the hospital, exactly. and I thank God. Hey. Oh God. Father, I thank you. Thank you. And we thank God for bringing you back alive to us. Mm -hmm. We were all worried. I had a strong feeling that something was wrong. You said but it. But thank God. Because anything could have happened though. Yes. They could have shot him. Uh-uh. They could have shot him. Mm. Hey, Wicked God. People. Hey, God, I thank you. Thank you, I Jesus. thank you. Thank you for bringing back my husband. <gasps> Save and alive. Hey. My dear, let me go and get you. Hey, mama, mama, please, 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 please. Uh? No, I'm not hungry. I'm not in that mood. I just want to, oh, you goodness. know. No, I want to just rest. Let me sit down after I go and sleep. You know, you just I, need something, no, 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 please. I just need to rest, okay? Should uh, I make tea for you? No I need. Something hot. No I need. Something. No need. No need. No need. No need. Oh. <laughs> is because of what happened. It's because of what happened. It's only because of what happened. What am I going to tell your father? What? No, what will I tell him? What will I tell him happened to his keke? What, what am I going to say? How am I going to construct my sentence? Sweetheart, you are going to tell him exactly what happened to his keke. Very simple. His keke was snatched. At gunpoint, you were helpless. I mean, what is there not to understand? This could have happened to anyone. It is not your fault. Okay, it don't sound like you're not grateful to be alive. Anything could have happened to you, but here you are, alive. We should be grateful for that. This can happen to anybody. It's not your fault. And you think you will believe? And you think you will just believe my story and just take it like that, knowing who your father is? You know your father doesn't like me. You know the conditions he gave before he gave me that keke? You know. So why would I face him? What do I tell him? Sweetheart, I still think you should go and see him. See him and explain to him first. He's not a devil. It's only a devil that will not understand that this is a possibility. Okay? You were helpless. It is not your fault. It was a case of life and death. 
and you came out alive. Screaming and shouting. Uncle, Uncle, there's a problem. Uh, uh, there's by the way, problem. where is Sonima? He's supposed to be here this morning. Yes, there's a problem. Um, last night, Wilma and I were coming from the hospital, and all of a sudden, a speedy vehicle hit Oyema and it ran away. Who oh got I speak with you right now? Oyema is at the hospital at the point of death. Uncle, please help. Help. What is all this? Mother and son critically ill at the hospital. No. Your brother is supposed to be here this morning to collect the money I promised to give him. And also to sign the land document he promised to give me. Uncle, that's why I'm here. Since it's not available, I can sign it, Uncle. Please let me just sign it so that I can come with the money to pay for my brother's and my mother's hospital bill. I beg you, please. I don't want to lose my people. I don't want to lose my mother. I don't want to lose my brother. Please, I beg you. Oh, Agatha, oh, baby. that won't be possible because women don't sign land documents. We have to wait for your brother to get well from the hospital hey, oh, uncle, so that he can sign the, the uncle, documents and uncle, collect the money. Hey, oh, uncle, please, please don't do this. I don't want to lose my brother and my mother. I beg you, please. Listen, I, I need to give them this money. The doctor said my brother has limited time. If I don't pay this money now, I might lose my mother. I beg you. I beg you, Uncle, please. Uncle. Uh, you heard what I said. That won't be possible. We have to wait for your brother to get well. Then sign the documents, then I will give him the money. Aside that, there is little or nothing I can do. Can't you get it? Uncle, why are you this wicked? Why are you this wicked? What have we done to you? What have we done to you? Why are you this wicked? Ever since I lost my father, you have been treating us badly. Why? Why are you this wicked? Even if you don't want to give us the land paper. Okay, give me money. Let me go and settle this thing for my mother and my brother. And when we come back, or even we sign it for you. Why are you so mean and wicked? Why are you heartless? I just told you that I'm about to lose my, 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 my mother. Your, your brother's wife. And you're this wicked. Even my brother. Don't you have conscience? Ever since I lost my brother, you have been wicked to us. You have been treating us badly. Is that fair? Why are you this wicked? When you are done ranting, you know your way out. Uncle, please. Uncle, I'm, I'm, I'm talking so much, but I'm not ranting again. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. I won't do this. Please, baby. Uncle, 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 please. No. Uncle. Ah! Uncle. 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 Ah! I'm not shouting again. Uncle, please. Please. Please! Please! <laughs> I'm not going to leave this place! I will not leave here! I will leave this place until you give us that money! I will leave this place until you give us that money! Oh, good, fear God and give me this money! Yo. Fear God and give me this money! Fear God! Fear God and give me this money! I will leave this place! I will leave this place! Oh God. I will not leave you until you give me this money. I will leave you until you give me this money. I'm not going to leave. I'm not. 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 I'm Nonsense. How are you? Okay. Uh, the woman you were trained, Mrs. Osofo, have you confirmed from the account department if the money I asked the children to deposit for her surgery has been deposited? 500000 Um, So I confirmed, but okay. they haven't paid the money. Besides, since yesterday they left this hospital and begged me to watch their mother, I haven't seen them. It's alright. Listen. If in the next 20 minutes the children are not here with that money, bring that woman down to the floor. Okay? And prepare that word for other important patients. I don't trade business here, okay? But sorry. Listen to me. 
Do as I say. And bring this fight to my office immediately. What do I do now? What do I do now? My mother is at the hospital. At the point of death. What do I do? I don't even have money to deposit. And the doctor said, if I don't deposit any money, my mother will die. No. Oh no, God, you can't allow this. You can't allow this. I beg you. My brother is in another hospital. There's no money to deposit. There's no money to deposit. I don't want to lose my brother. I don't want to lose my mother. God, please. Please, God. God, please. Please help me. I don't want to lose. What do I do? What do I do? What do Ah, uh, Mr. Chukuma. My nurse said you want to see me. What's the problem? Are you sick? Well, doctor, I don't have any problem. Okay. I came to see my friend's brother that was admitted into your hospital. So I realized that he had been discharged yesterday. Okay. So as I was about leaving doctor, I saw a woman who was seriously sick lying outside at your passage. So I called one of your nurse and I asked her, what could be the problem? And she said, I should come and ask you, doctor, what is the problem? Uh, Mr. Chukuma, right? Well, as you rightly said, the woman you saw there is very sick. I should have brought her yesterday. But up till now, we've not seen them. They left in search of the money I asked them to bring for our surgery. And we have not heard from them. The woman is very, very sick. She's suffering from cancer. And the cancer has spread all over her body. She has limited time to live. Hence, I asked them to keep her there. Doctor, at least you have instructed one of your nurses to take her to the ward, not outside. For God's sake, this is a human being. What if she's your mother or one of your relatives? Money is not everything, doctor. You have saved Shukuma. our lives first. Mr. Shukuma, can you calm down? Okay? This is hospital. We have rules and regulations. We have procedures. We have laid down principles. Yeah. Okay? We don't do buying and selling here. Listen to me. The facilities you are seeing here, they are quite expensive. They are all imported. We pay our staff highly here. We need money to take care of all this. Okay? Mr. Shukuma. How do I help you? How much are we talking about? 500,000. With 500,000, we are good to go. So you mean if I give you 500,000 now, now, that woman there will be saved, right? Sure. Very well then. I'll give you 600,000. 500,000 now for surgery, then 100,000 after the surgery to take care of herself. That's good. How do you want it? Transfer or cash? If you have the cash, it will be better. <laughs> Doctor, this is human life you are talking about. Yes. We have to follow the damn principle and procedure. <laughs> okay. That's 400,000. <clears> thousand. <throat> I hope it's complete. So my balance? Send me your account number for your balance. The account number, okay. Uh, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Six, six. Uh, that's how it happened, sir. Okay, will you shut up? I said, keep quiet. I want you to look at this. Take a look at this book. Look at it. Look at it. Stop lawyer here. You are owing me for yesterday. And even today, not minding that uh, uh, this is morning. You are owing me yesterday and today. And you, you, you are here to tell me this rubbish. Sir. How do you mean that I, I'm, 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 I'm dumb as I snatch, snatch my kick away from you? Sir. You know you are a thief. Sir. You are an idiot. You are... Shut up. Sir. 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 Shift the back. 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 So you think that you, if you come here this morning to tell me this or you say story, I, 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 I will believe you and, and clap for you. Sir. Sir. I'm, 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 you 
know me oh, now. Oh. I, I, I won't do this now. You went and sold my keke. Ha. Ah. And come here to tell me. Sir. Stop, no. Sir. Listen to me. I am giving you five days to return my keke. Failing to do that, you will say understand. Sir. By the way, let me ask you. Where did you become a good Samaritan that goes around looking for accident victims to take to the hospital? Sir, sir please. I mean, what, what do I have to gain by lying? What do I have to gain? I mean, what do I have to gain? I have integrity, sir. The truth of the matter is everything I told you, sir. That's it. Now, why would listen I lie? To me, listen to me. Whether you are telling me a lie or not, all I need is my keke. Sir. Return my keke. You were intact, you were not bad. Return on my keke. Mommy, please, now. What am I even saying? Five, three days. I'm giving you three days to return my keke. For him to do that, you will stand on that side of me. My Lord, please, now. Please. I have something to say. Now, if you ask me, oh, I will just suggest we forget about this keke. Eh? What did you just say? Forget about the keke. Forget my keke. Eh, let's just thank God. Now. Do you know how much I bought that keke? Do you know how much I bought that keke you are asking me to forget? Do you know how many hundreds of thousands I bought that keke? Even the tire. You know how much they sell the, 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 the tire of the, in the market? I'm sure I should forget it. Anyway, thank God you say if I ask you, and I thank God that I did not ask you, so keep your mouth shut. So, for my keke, my keke, my, my, my in law, please, my mommy, people, talk to him, please, my in law, you know me. I, so mean, I, I will say, never get out of my house. So, I will never, please, sir, please, sir. My in law, leave my house and go and find my keke. My in law, leave my house. No, just leave. Just go. I will see. 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 Someone came here and yes, deposited yes. money for my mother, 500,000 naira, and an additional 100,000 naira. Yes, 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 exactly. Just calm down, please. She'll be fine, okay? She'll be fine. She'll be fine, okay? No, I'm sorry. Um, what, what she just said, is it true? I, I am busy inside, please, okay? Is it true? 
said so. Please, everything, talk to me. Everything she told you is true. I mean, the surgeon just came in not quite long. I was trying to explain to you, but just look at what you did to my clothes. You need to come. So you mean my father told you all that? He told me that too. Uh, he told me that. I mean, <laughs> and more. He said, if I don't return his keke in three days, that I'll see the stuff he's made of. You know, I pleaded yeah. with him. I begged him. He said I should leave his compound. He chased me away. I mean, he sent you out of his compound? Yes. And where was my mother? What did she say? Well, she wanted to say something, you know, in her defense. She wanted to say something, but your father shut her down, telling her not to utter a word. Can you imagine this man? What kind of a, what kind of a human being is this? Mm. So he's not celebrating your life. He's not happy that you came out alive. Mm. He's talking about his ordinary keke that was stolen. Mm. No, no, what was he expecting you to do? He wanted you to fight with men holding guns. Over a, 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 a keke na pep. Mm. Are you serious? I am, I'm happy that you're alive. I celebrate your life. That's all that matters to me. The keke can go because he cannot make me a widow. My dear. If that is his plan, then back to sender. Mm. Don't work for him. My dear, there's no need saying back to sender to your father. Please, please. Uh, let's not wish him death. Eh? Let's not wish him death, please. But the truth of the matter is that I'm afraid. I'm afraid. You know, your father doesn't like me. You know, I... <laughs> Look, with the fire in his eyes, what I saw, that man would do something stupid if I don't bring back his keke. He would do something. I'm, I'm afraid for my own life right now. I'm my love, afraid. just calm down. You know what? I'm going to go over and talk him out of any stupid idea that, my, uh, that, that must be going through uh, his please, head. Please, I hope you're not going to shout at your father. Of course I will shout. No, no, no. Why, no, no. why would he ask you to return a keke that was clearly taken uh, at gunpoint? Uh, uh, or he wants you to fight with someone no, 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 don't so that die. No. He wants to turn me into a widow. Uh, uh, no, no, my love, please, oh, please, please, please. please take please, my baby Please, don't me. shout at me. Please, please. That three days for you to produce a keke that that was... My love, don't shout at him, oh. I'm afraid. Okay. Be stable. Nurse, what about his sister? Doctor, she left the hospital since morning. I've not seen her. Has she made any payment? No, doctor. Okay, well, the most important thing is that he's recovering gradually. And please, make sure you take good care of him and monitor the trip until he wakes up. Yes, doctor. All right. Please, when you go out there... See. Papa, whether you know what you're saying no, or you don't know what you're saying no, I don't know. That's not my point. But I know what I'm talking about. My husband is not irresponsible. He is not. Papa, see, let's just cut this long story short. Now that this keke has been taken away, what do we do? Which way forward? I told the husband to return my keke within the next three days. Failing to do that. <laughs> okay, Papa, let me ask you this question. Please, I'm asking you this so that everybody can just be clear on this, on this matter. Supposing in three days, my husband is not able to provide this keke because I've never seen a possibility in this life that this keke will be out in three days. A keke that was taken by criminals with guns. I don't know how I'm going to recover in three days, though. So let's just start assuming now that this keke is not available. What happens? Then let him get ready to pay for his crime. Papa, let him get ready to pay for his crime. Really? Mama, you are here, oh. Oh, you can hear, Papa. You can hear this man. You can hear what he's saying. That my husband should be ready to pay for his crime. What crime? No, tell me, what crime has my husband committed? Did he steal your keke? Is he the one that stole it? You are not happy that he's alive? What if he was dead? Would you have been dragging your keke by now? What kind of human are you, Papa? What is it? My daughter, your husband was here in the morning. I listened to his stories and I believed him. 
I was trying to explain to your father. Trying to tell him to forgive him. Because I believe he was telling the truth. But you know what? Your father nearly hit me. He warned me seriously that I should not put my mouth on serious matters like this. That's why you see me keeping quiet. I don't know what to say again. He said your husband will pay for his crime. I am watching to see. I am just watching to see how it will go. Papa, God is watching you. God is watching you, Papa. I've always known that you've been wicked, though, but I never knew it was going to be to this extent. I didn't know your wickedness is to this extent, Papa. No problem. I have said what I've said, though. Forgive him and let's all move on. Let's put this behind us and move on. I am done talking. Mama. Mama, be cool. I'm out of this place. Before, before, before I do something, something bad. You see it? You see your daughter? You see your daughter? Jumping, shouting at me, running her mouth on top of my kick and her husband's shoulder. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, doctor, um, please. Uh, uh, you are back? Yes, yes, I'm back. Um, is my mother still alive? My mother. Go it's okay. okay. You can go in and see her. Okay? Okay. Okay. But don't make a noise. She needs all the rest in the world, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, doctor, please. I'm sorry. Please, I want to be sure. Is she still alive? Of course she's alive. You don't believe me when Thank I say that. Thank you. Thank you. My mom okay? She'll be fine. She's just sleeping because of the injection that was given to her before the surgery. But don't worry, she'll soon wake up. Are you sure? Yes, she's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Please do not disturb her. And if you need anything, I'm at reception. Please don't disturb her. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy, you know said you'll be fine. Okay. Doctor, you sent for me. Yes. Please sit. How are you? I asked you and your brother yesterday to go get money for your mother's surgery. And you didn't come back. What happened? My brother is at the hospital, doctor. Hospital? Yes. What, what happened? 
when we left here last night, I crossed to the other side of the road to get something. And my brother was trying to cross over to the other side. And then, a speeding vehicle hit my brother and ran away. Jesus Christ. So sorry. Nobody agreed to help us out. Luckily, um, a KK man helped us and took us to another hospital. This is so sympathetic. So sorry. How is your brother now? How is he doing? Doctor, please, um, I want to ask you, please, um, the person that paid for my mother's surgery, who is he? I don't know him. He came around to see a patient in the hospital here, and the person he came to see him had already been discharged, and he came into the bishop, asked me some questions, and I explained to him what happened, and he decided to help. I don't understand, Doctor. What do you mean you don't know him? You don't know his name? Okay. What's his name? Do you have his phone number? Where is he from? Honestly, everything happened very, very fast. I could not get his phone number. Uh, let's have you guys. He dropped 100,000 euros that you should buy some things and take care of your mother. <laughs> Doctor, the, he dropped 100,000 naira for me? Is this, this person a spirit or a human being? If you ask me, who will I ask? I presume you just do what he asks you to do. Buy some things. Your mother needs some things now, okay? You'll be fine. Your brother will be fine too. Just, just go and take your food. Okay. Excuse me, I will be busy now. Can I go? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Lord bless you. Hospital. Agata. Agata. Where is my sister Agata? Where? Where is Agata? Where is my mom? Where is my mother? Agata is coming and your mother is fine. Where? Agata is coming. My mother is fine. Yes, Akana is coming. Mama is fine. I am in the hospital. Where is my mother? Where is my mother? I am fine. Kabata is coming. Mama. Akata. Mama. 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 You have to calm down. Calm down, please. Relax yourself. Don't overstress yourself, please. Please. Ah. 
please, I didn't sell the keke. I did not. I swear to God, I didn't. What happened is, on my way back home, I met this girl who, you know, was shouting that her brother was hit by a car. I decided to be a good Samaritan and help the man. I put him in, the, in my keke with the girl's help, of course. On going to the hospital, armed robbers attacked us with guns. They took my keke away. And I still took that man to the hospital that same day. As this thing happened. In fact, that day I walked about five kilometers back home. Why would I sell keke? For what reason? Something I'm eating from? My in-laws thing? Why? What will I gain? It's true. My husband is saying the truth, officer. My husband is not a thief. My, I don't know why my father is doing this. This is just sheer wickedness and nothing else. Please, just have mercy. Have mercy on my husband. Look at me. Look at my baby. My baby is barely one month old. I had an operation. If you keep my husband here, how do I feed? How do I cope? I, I'm barely healed. Please help me. Help me, officer. Madam. Yes, sir. I have heard you. Yeah. But I want to ask your husband one question. Okay. And that is the only thing that will make me believe that everything he's saying here is true. Okay, Please sir. Ask, him, ask, ask me, him, sir. Ask, ask me. Him okay. Okay. Yes, sir. It's all right. Um, Mr. Sopo. Sir. That night the cake was snatched from you. Yes, sir. Did you make any formal report to the police station? Uh, 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 no, 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 sir. Mr. Sopo. Sir. Your cake was snatched from you, and you did not make any report to the police station. About what happened. So how do you expect me to believe that all these stories is true? It's true, sir. Okay. It's true. Okay. It's okay. true. Now, what if that night the robbers used that keke to go for robbery, and the police attacked them and abandoned the keke and ran away? So is this the same story you will go and tell the police station? Uh, is it the same story you go there and tell them? Um, officer, what actually happened that night was uh, the, the incident happened very late in the night and there was no station around where it happened. That's why he couldn't make a report. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, Mr. Sopo, yes, listen, sir. listen to me. Uh, the whole thing lies in the hands of your father-in-law. Hi. Uh, if you can go and talk to him and he tells us to release you, fine, release you. But if he says no, you will face the law. Sir, please. You, you can't go free. Sir, please. Why, why would this I... This is a serious why? case. Why? Please. Why would I sell my in-laws keke? For what reason? Nobody will believe this story. Please. Work according to procedure. Do ha. you make any formal report? It's problem. It's problem. Oh, hey, God. It's not, it's not. You can't go like that. Sir, please. Um, doctor, I want to thank you very much for taking care of my brother, even without um, asking for money. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. You see, you don't need to thank me. It's my job to save lives. You see, a good doctor will first of all save the life of his or her patients before talking about money. Even if the patient doesn't have the money, he or she will have to pay gradually. Though most people misuse this kindness. But I want to let you know that wicked people will never go unpunished. Um. Doctor, not everybody has this kind of wisdom and understanding. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. All the same, thank you very much. Um, how much is my brother's bill? Well, the one so far is about 25,500 Naira. Though we still need to give him some injections. And that means he'll be paying some money on the day he'll be discharged. 25,000. Doctor, this is 30,000 Naira. I'm sure it will cover up all the other expenses. Well, even if it's not complete, maybe yeah, I can forget the balance. But you have to go to the cashier's office and make the payment. Then I'll direct them on what to do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you.
Papa, I'm just begging you. Papa, I know I cannot fight you. I'm only begging you. Papa, I'm appealing to your conscience. Please, have mercy. Have mercy upon me and my husband and release him. <laughs> Papa, Papa, look at me. My husband has been locked up for days now. How do you want me to cope? Mama, what do you want me to do? Papa, look at me. It's just barely how many months I had a CS. How do you want me to cope? How do I feed whatever my child, your grandchild? Papa, please. Mama, people help me talk to Papa. Nai, what do you think you are doing? Please. I'm asking you. Do you want to kill this girl? For the past two days now, you locked up her husband. She has been crying, begging you to release him. You refused. Your own son-in-law. Why are you like this? Why? If not for anything, at least for our grandchild. Do it for our grandchild. I'm begging. Ah, look at your daughter before you. You, 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 you don't even care. <laughs> Papa, be gone, be gone. This is not fair. It is your conscience. In a bitch in a All this is both of you are saying. How is it my business? Huh? Am I the one holding her husband? Let her husband return my cake and I will call the police uh, uh, to, to, to release him. Huh? Okay. Let you return my cake. I will tell the police to release him. Okay, Papa, please. Papa, Papa, please. Papa, help me. Papa, please help me. Papa, I beg you. Papa, Mama, talk to him now, please. Uh, 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 God, in trouble. I'm not the one holding your husband. Papa, please just do something. My keke. Tell your husband to return my keke. Simple. Okwe bie. On our way, can you hear me? Let him return my keke. Mama, you heard him, right? You heard your husband. No problem. Papa, no problem. Hey, Papa, well, let me tell you this. If anything happens to my husband, Papa, if anything happens to my husband, hey, Papa, in this life, in the next life, till the end of this life, I will never forgive you. Papa, you know what? You see my husband, kill him. Kill him and bring his cops back to me. Bayam. Papa, in fact, do your worst. Papa, do your worst. Do your worst, Papa. Do your worst. Do your worst. Do your worst. I'm letting you. Do you know how much they take in the market? You have heard her. And let me tell you. That's your business. You are the blame of you. Do you know how much they take in the market? Oh, wherever she stands, you stand. Don't worry. Very soon, you will stand with your husband in prison. Talo Muni. No, I got on the leg, okay? You know the joke at all when it comes to mommy. Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of this money. Ah, Mama, I'm happy you're better now. Thank God. Uh, Mama. Do you want anything? Are you sure? Okay. Uh, Arita. Mama. Where is your brother? I've not seen him around. Um he went he went to get money from his friend that promised to give him money. He went yesterday. Which of his friends? Um Mama, you don't know him. Um, he's his new friend. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, Mama, you have to eat something. No, you, you, you can't tell me you won't, you won't eat anything now. Let me find out from the doctor what kind of food I can get for you to eat, okay? Okay? You eat something. Huh? Thank you. Ah, Mama. God oh, bless you, my daughter. Mama, it's nothing, thank God.
I mean, how did it happen? I'm talking about the accident. How? Well, I should be asking you that question. How could you not look at the road before crossing? How? Agatha, I wasn't thinking straight that day. I mean, I was lost in thought. So many things were just going through my mind. I thought as much. But well, you should know that the express is not the right place for you to think. Eh? Just imagine if that keke man, that good Samaritan, did not come to save you that day. What would have happened to you? You'd have been dead by now. Eh? And now because of you, the keke man lost his money to policemen. And even lost his keke to arm robbers. Eh? Only God knows the man's fate right now. What will he tell the owner of the keke? Who is that guy, by the way? Who is he? Brother, if you ask me, would I ask? I don't know. I don't know him. I've not seen him before. I don't know. I mean, with the whole situation that night, I wasn't the right frame of mind to ask him his name, his number, where he's from. I don't know. You're not talking about... Sorry, sorry. 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 It's okay. Talking about the person that paid for my mother's surgery. You said you don't know the person. About that one, I don't know him. I don't know. I've not seen him before. Even the doctor said he hasn't seen him before. That he came to his office to check one of his patients. But the patient was already discharged. So he dropped money and paid 500000 with an extra hundred thousand naira, I took out of the hundred thousand naira to pay for your hospital bill. I don't know him. What do we call this? Could this person be an angel, or a human, or an immortal? I don't know. All I know is this is a miracle. Miracle. So how? Don't, don't. Uh, should I call the doctor? No, no, don't worry. I... Are you sure? That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, how is Mama? She's fine. She's fine. She's doing okay, but I didn't tell her what happened to you. Well, of course. Else she'll be worried. Mm. I'll be fine. Uh, this is miracle. This is miracle. It's fine. It will explain to you later. I um, just had a minor accident. That's all. Did I hear you say minor accident? With his hand bandaged like this and the plaster on his head. Mama, he will be fine. Huh? He will explain to you. Uh, Mama, I, this is it's nothing serious. Just like Agatha just said. Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. It's just um, minor bruises here and there, and uh, the bandage is just to cover up the, the bruises. Okay, don't worry. I hope you're getting stronger. I'm not fine. Don't tell me what happened to you. Easy, easy, mama. Easy. Take it easy. Honestly, I am fine. Uh, Agatha. Has Mama uh, Has Mama eaten anything? Oh yes, yes. Um, she she has eaten. I gave her food before she took her drugs. Okay. Mm. Uh, come on, Mama, no, smile. It's nothing. Mm, smile. You, you'll be fine. Okay? So that I will call the police to forget the matter. Oh, really? Mama, you heard what your husband said. You heard Okwego, didn't you? Please calm down. That was the same issue we were discussing before you walked in. I, I, I've 
talked to your father to forgive our son-in-law, Sopro, but he refused. I just don't know what his problem is. I don't know. Ma'am. Okwego, what have I done to you? What have I ever done to you? What has my husband done to you? Why are you head bent on seeing us suffer? Okwego, are you not tired? Are you not tired of this? I have begged you. I have cried. I've gone on my knees countless times. But you have decided to lock up your heart against me. Because of the wickedness in your heart. You have chosen not to forgive me and my husband. Over what? Because of one tiny old rickety keke. An old useless keke. I miss the so many kekes that you have on the road. Okay, God, you have decided to, to, to destroy my home. You have decided to ruin my happiness. You have decided to destroy my husband. Okwego, tell me why God will not punish you. No, look at me and tell me why God will not punish you. Okwego, you see the wrath of God coming. You cannot escape it. Your punishment is coming. Judgment day is coming. Your day of reckoning is coming. And when it comes, Okwego, you will look for a place to hide your face, but you will not find it. For all the things you've made me go through, I've been on the road with my, my, my newborn baby up and down the station since you locked up my husband and you're not ashamed of yourself. God will punish you. This is the worst you can do, isn't it? You have shown your power now. But I thought you were bigger than this, really. I really thought I expected more from you. Locking him up, taking him to court. Is that all? Ha! Okay, go do your worst. Okay, go, you can do better now. You can do better. Shameless man. Wicked man. Ugoma. You are talking to me like that. You are talking to me yes. like that. So you have grown wings to talk to me. Huh? You are not my father. My father, my foot. See you in court. Okwego. See you in court. Don't, 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 don't even talk to me or in Anaya. Don't even look at me and say a, a word. You are, you are so shameless. Like a mother, like a daughter. I don't blame you. Don't knock one about me, go to the chair, and I'm not going to go to the chair. Only I said about half a year. Let him not bring about my case and see what will happen to him. And I'm very good. 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 Your Majesty, I am here to beg you to help me beg my father to release my husband. If he doesn't release him and anything happens to him, I will not forgive him. Oh, please don't say a thing like that. He's your father no matter what. But not to worry, I will um, send for him uh, so that we talk about this and make sure that um, peace is achieved at the end. But uh, I have a few questions to ask you. Are you sure that uh, your husband was attacked by armed robbers and the, the KK was cut uh, at gunpoint? Because I want to know how true this is. Uh, this is you who knows your husband more than I do. I truly want to know the story so as to do my job. Your Majesty, my husband is not a criminal. Mm. He's a man of good character. There's no way my husband who lie about that he was truly attacked at some point. He barely made it alive. That is the true story. He's not a thief. Oh, the, the second question is this. Uh, did your husband report to any station, police station, after the incident? No. Ah. According to him, the incident happened in the middle of the night. And there was no police station around where it happened. That's the problem. 
That is exactly the problem. Not even the police will believe this story. Supposing your husband reported to the police station in the morning, it would have been an easy thing. But never to worry. I will um, call your father and uh, of course we'll take it from there. But be rest assured that uh, we will make peace at the end. So go home. Hmm? Make Majesty. peace with everybody. Thank you. Your Majesty. Have a nice day. Um, hello, Ichi Okwego. Uh, how are you? Oh, we are fine. Uh, uh, please, I would like to see you in my palace this evening. Um, it's urgent. There's something I want us to talk about. Uh, sure. Oh, that's good. I appreciate it. Madam, this money you gave me, what is it for? Uh, officer, like I told you, I am Sop Rose mother-in-law. I want you to please plead with your DPO to release him. Because Nami, that boy is innocent. He did not steal the keke. Armed robber snatched it from him. Please, I'm begging you. Help me and my daughter, his wife, who just came back from the hospital a few weeks ago. Because, Madam, Sopro has told me everything. He has said how it happened, and I believe him. And I've tried talking to your husband to forgive your son-in-law. But rather, he reported me to the DPO. Hey. Accusing me of collecting bribe from Sopro. Oh, go, go. If, not, if, if not that my DPO knows the kind of person I am, I would have been in serious trouble by now. Hey. So, madam, I hey. suggest you you either tell his people to pay your husband for the keke, or you plead to your husband to so that we can release him. Talk to your husband, madam. Uh, officer, I heard he will be taken to court on Monday. And please, Mr. Wu, open Mr. Wu. This boy has no one to help him. Please help us. I'm begging you. Pico. Madam. There is nothing I can do right now. Honestly, at this juncture, my hands are tied. No, Madam, please, have your money. Please, please. Take your money, take your money, take. Excuse me. Well, uh, Your Majesty, I've heard all that you have said. But the truth is that I will not tell the police to release that boy. That boy is a criminal. And I will teach him a lesson he will never forget in a hurry. Let him bring back my keke. Um, Ichi Okwego, uh, do you realize that we are talking about your son-in-law here? Your Majesty, that is the more reason I said that that boy is a criminal. In the first place, I told him that I don't want him to marry my daughter. But he went behind me and got her pregnant. Because he knows that if he gets my daughter pregnant, I will have no option than to give, give him my daughter's hand in marriage. In fact, I wasn't even the one that gave him my daughter's hand in marriage. It was my wife. <sighs> it's your quibble. As it is now, so how do we unravel the truth behind this and um, settle this matter amicably? Can I read you where we, you know, know, no. You see, the people of this kingdom are interested in this case. Uh, and if anything goes wrong, uh, they will not take it lightly with you. The boy is just an orphan. Your Majesty, this matter is very simple. It's very simple. Let that boy return my keke. Better still, let the community contribute money and buy another keke for me. Okuana, Uweyeji Subweme. Uh, Ichi Okwego, you and I know that uh, what you are asking for is not possible. Let me tell you the truth. Your daughter left my palace with bitter heart. 
She was crying and uh, at the end she swore to me that if anything happens to her husband that she will never forgive you. Imakoku mother said, I just want you to do something to avert this so that you will not cry had I know at the end. Emergency, sorry. I am talking about my keke. Yes, I know she's my daughter. But I'm talking let that boy return my cake. Simple. Hmm. Well, I have said what I said. Uh, this is just my own uh, kind of piece of warning. <coughs> um, you were when I uh, uh, that I did not accept what you said. Like I said, there's nothing I can do. Let that boy return my cake. Uh, I'm sorry for disobeying you, uh, but I'm talking about my business. It's my money. Cake is very costly in the market today. It's not what I would just wave away like that. Uh, let it return my cake. Don't be offended, Your Majesty. You go. I have to be on my way. But do your worst. Uh, do your worst. You can't do anything. You see you in court. It has happened. Let me see how she will come here and run her mouth again. Nonsense. Let's have wake, wake a camera. Nonsense. No worries. When he comes back, he must have to provide that to How did it go? Has the courts released our son anymore? Release him. For what? One must call to the listen. He has paid for his crime. Paid for his crime? Hmm? I don't understand. He was sentenced to five years imprisonment. What? Okwego. What did you just say? You heard me. Our own son-in-law. The husband of your only daughter. 
you sent to jail. No. This can't be true. This can't be possible. Okwego, just tell me you are joking. Hey! God! Chibo! Okwego! Do you know you are so wicked and heartless? You are very wicked and heartless. You are the devil himself. Where did you hide your conscience for crying out loud? Where? You sent our only daughter's husband, our son-in-law, to jail. And you are here comfortably drinking Odeku. Taking your beer. It's my money. I'm enjoying my money. Cost money. My money is your cost money. Your cost money. Okay. Okwego, I regret the day I married you. Abia. I regret the day I married you. Hey! God, of all men in the world, is Okwego you chose for me. Devil himself you gave me as a husband. Okwego, I regret everything about you. I regret everything about you. Okay. Now that you have sent our daughter's husband to prison, what will she be doing? How will she be feeding? Who will be taking care of her and her newborn baby? Because you know her condition. Answer me. You want me to answer you? Beatrice, you want me to answer you? Okay, I will answer you. If she wants, let her come back to this house. I, her father, am still alive. I am ready to provide for her and her child whatever they need. After all, I wasn't in support of that marriage in the first place. Never now, what do you say? Okwego! Shame on you! Woo! Wicked man! What more can you do? You have done your worst, right? Haven't you done your worst? You have sent my husband to prison! Kai, Okwego! Tell me why God will not punish you! No! Tell me why God will not punish you! Not a problem! My husband will go to prison and come back alive. But you see, you okay go. You will die. You will go to hell. Okay go. You will never make heaven. You will never make heaven. God will punish you. God will punish you. You are a good singer. God will punish you, okay go. Tell me why God will not punish you. Tell me. What more can you do? You have done the worst you can do, right? This is the best you can do! Wicked man! <laughs> Mama, don't tell me it's okay, oh! Don't tell me! Don't tell me it's okay, it's not okay! It is not okay! It is not! Let me finish with this man! By the time God starts dealing with you! By the time God starts dealing with you, okay, go! Hey! Your money cannot save you! Heartless man! Mama, you were here, I was begging this man! I was crawling and begging this man as if he's God. Okay, God, you are not God. Okay, God, you cannot play God. You are not God. Ooh, wicked man. Evil man. <laughs> my husband will come back alive. My husband will come and meet me and my child alive. But for everything you have made me go through, for every tears that I have dropped because of you, Papa, ah, you will never... You will never die and see God. You will never die and see God. You see that prison? You will go to prison. You see that prison is your leg? You must enter prison. Except my God is not alive. You will enter prison. Evil man. Look at him. Tyrant. Tyrant. Dictator. Look at you. God will punish you. Mama. You see this man? You see this awkward ego? I will never have anything in this life to do with this evil man. Not in this life, till the end of this life, even in the life after this, you can never, ever be my father. God punish you. Oh, where got my foot? You see, your daughter is a good musician, she's a good singer. And you will enjoy the music. 
I saw you. You were enjoying the music. She's a good singer. I am so ashamed of you. You are the devil himself. You are so shameless. My daughter sang a song. She sang the song of sorrow. But because you are too naughty to understand her words, you did not understand her music, the sound of her music. Her song says she has disowned you. I know you don't know the implication of another disowning her own father. You are here relaxed, enjoying her song. I'm ashamed of you. Okwego. I regret the day you tested my flesh. I regret the day I laid on bed with you. And you enjoyed it, didn't you? You enjoyed it very well. You are a devil himself. I regret everything about you. And who cares? You don't care. I don't care. Okwego, a day is coming. And that day is fast approaching. When you will care. You will surely care. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have my food now? Beatrice, you don't want to talk. Okay. Hello. Agatha. Mom? Since we came back from the hospital, I've been worried about this man that saved my life by paying my hospital bills. Even the man that saved Onyema's life, that lost his keke in the process. We need to find them. So that at least we can thank them. Hmm? Mama. Yes. But you are right. <clears throat> you see, I am as confused as you are. That mm. night I was unconscious to even picture his face. And even if I see the young man right now, I won't even recognize him. And the person that paid for your surgery, she don't even know the person. The only person that can solve this puzzle here is uh, Agatha. Agatha. Um. <laughs> I wish I can. The truth is that the condition for that was last night. I didn't, didn't give me the opportunity to ask him his name, his phone number, where he's from. I was just busy in making sure that the doctor um, I attended to brother very well. Um, as for you, Mama, I don't even know the person that paid for your bills. I've not seen him. I don't know him. I did not see him with my eyes. And when I asked the doctor, he said that was the first time for him to see the person that he came to um, see one of his patients. But the person was discharged already. So that's all. I don't know him. I've not seen him. It seems none of us knows any of them. <laughs> this is... This is somehow funny. Agatha, if you see this young man, the KK guy that saved my life, will you recognize him? Mm. I, I think I can. Mm. I can. 
Please, my daughter, whenever you go out, look around. Search very well if you see him. So that when a man I gets better, we can go and thank him. As for the other man that paid my bills, may God bless him wherever he is. Mama is right. Hmm. Yeah. We need to find out the situation of thing between the Keke guy and the owner of the Keke that the armed robbers snatched. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, try. 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 My dear, why are you doing this to yourself? Huh? Look at you crying. The baby is crying. You still be crying every day and night because your husband is in prison. You know, crying cannot bring him out. Instead, it will cause more problems. Huh? Why will I not cry? See? See, your health matters now. It's okay, it's okay. Why are you doing this to this baby? Eh? Why? Why? And it's not my fault. How can I even explain to people that my husband is in prison because my father sent him there? My father sent my husband to prison because of an ordinary keke that he can afford. Auntie, where do I start life from? How do I cope? How am I going to wait for my husband for five whole years to come out of prison? No, it won't be up to five years. It's two years and six months because it counts day and night. As you can see, very soon, your husband will be free. No longer welcome in my late brother's house. Uncle, you've not answered my question. What are you doing here? Anyways, I am here to see your mother and also to find out how you people got the money for the operation. Is that all? Nguanu, I will answer your questions one after the other. Mama? He's our wicked uncle. He came to see if you are dead and how we managed to pay for your operation, which he refused to give us money unless we give him our only piece of land. Hola, uncle. How are you? Uncle, I will answer your question. First, my mother is fine. And as for the money, let me tell you how we got it. Jesus sent someone. Yes. Jesus sent someone to pay for my mother. And you know what? He even gave us more than we needed, without a payback. Have I answered your question? I, I don't understand. How do you mean Jesus sent someone to give you the money? Of course, you know that it's not possible. Anyway, let me take it as a joke. I am here to let you know that I am still very much interested in giving you that money. So that you can as well give it back to the person from whom the money was borrowed. And I have also instructed my lawyer to prepare the documents. When Oyema comes back, tell him to come over to my house and sign the document for the land. In case of urgency, either of you can as well sign the document. Uncle, take them, eat them, sign them yourself. Do whatever you want to do with them. After all, women don't sign land papers. Uncle, where you and dog, take yourself out of this compound. Go! You know your way out. Go! Hola, You are not saying anything. It's all right. Go! Uncle, go! Eat the papers! Sign it! Eat it! Burn it! Do whatever you want to do with it! We don't need them! Wicked so! You mean of 
Ofebu. Ofebu came to this house to talk nonsense. He did. He should thank his God that I wasn't around. Else I would have taught him the lesson of his life, I swear. But I calm down. Calm down. Don't bother yourself. With the way I handled him, he will regret ever stepping his feet into this compound. I handled him very well. Mama, Okoya. Oh, no one, Joka. <laughs> she showed him 99. Mm -hmm. The man no one. Ha! I showed him Pepe. Yeah, I know what you can do. We trust you. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> let's forget about uh, Ofebu. I call this meeting for us to discuss something very important. Okay. Mama? Yes, my son. Agatha. You remember that my friend I used to talk about? Jibweze. That my friend I based abroad. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. I remember him, the one that stays in Holland, right? Uh, from our neighboring community of where? Bam. Iji. Okay. <laughs> Which one, dear? What about him? Uh, Mama, I, I called him a few days ago. You know, I told him what I've been going through, how difficult things are with me here in the village. Um, good thing he gave me a listening ear. Well, he said if, um, if there's any way I can find my way to Holland, that will give me a connection that will make me make money as soon as possible. Ah. Yes. Man, the guy we get hey. ah, the guy is, I have not shown you his house. You need to see the mansion the guy built. It's your of cars in his compound. It's your I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm. He has made money. So much money. So, how... How are you going to go about traveling? You and I know we don't have money for you to travel abroad. Ah, Mama, I understand what you're trying to say, uh, but that shouldn't bother you. I am planning uh, to sell that our land, the one Papa left for us. And so whatever money I make from selling off that land, I will process uh, my traveling documents, book my flight ticket. So whatever that is left, Mama, I'll give it to you. You start up business with it. So both of you will be managing from that money. So when I get that make money, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever that I trust you. Hey. <laughs> 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 take game, brother. I trust you, I trust you. Oh yeah my son. I don't have problem with you traveling abroad. At least it will make me happy. But my problem is you selling the only land your late father left for us. You know that is all we've got. Uh, Mama, don't worry. Once I get there and make money, trust me, Mama will send money. We'll buy plenty of land. One land, I'll replace with at least about four or five lots of land. Trust me. Hey, Mama, Mama, I think I think I, I, I see a point in what um, Brother just said. Mama, I think he has a point. Before that, our wicked uncle will go and sell that land. You won't know what he can do. He's capable of doing it. Of hey, Mama, I suggest he should sell it. Eh? Just a suggestion. Eh? But, but my only problem now is. If you get to Holland, how will you locate your friend? I mean, I don't want you to be stranded over there. Uh, that won't be a problem. I, he will send me his name and his details. So as soon as I get there with his details, I can locate him. Mm, okay. Um, uh, okay. Mama, what do you think? All right. I give you my support. <laughs> <laughs> um, you now look for a buyer hmm? and sell the land. Ah. Mama, I have a buyer already. Hello. Go go on. Hey, was supposed to be minister. And that was fast. Uh, you can't wait. At all. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Mama. Yes, my son. Now that I'm done with my travel arrangements, I'll be going to Lagos tomorrow. 
I have um, one or two other things to do before I leave this country in two days' time. Mm. Mama, please, that money that I gave to you, Biko, use it wisely, Biko. And um, Agatha, be very careful, because I can see all these village boys looking at you, flocking ah. around you. Me? Mm. Ha. Me? Ha. Mm -mm. Not me. It's me, it's you. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, take care of Mama. I will. Mm. I trust you. Mama, please, you have to be very strong for me. Hmm? Please. Um, I am going over there, Kambutike. Be strong for me. So you enjoy and reap the fruits of your labor. Hmm? Mama, you suffered for me. You suffered so much. Don't worry, my son. Hmm? Don't worry. By the time you come back, I'll be here waiting for you. Hell and hearty. Hmm? Thank you. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, Mama, you know, a belendene, motherly blessing. I want you to pray for me. I, I want to be blessed as I leave this country. But of course, you know I'm going to do that for you. Eh? I have to do that so that uh, everywhere you go, roads will clear for you. And so that you go there, you know? So that our enemies will be put to shame. Oh? So, mom. Um, an elder. Um. Lead us in prayer. Okay. Um, uh -huh. uh, let's be on our feet. Uh, Mama, sit down now. You know we are not feeling very well. No, no, not on this one. I must stand up for good. Oh, yeah. uh, because <laughs> what he's about to do for me is too much. Hey. Mama, you said you sing this song, study prayers. Uh, nah, neither. Hey, who? Mm -hmm. oh, hey. Hey. Oni nyakam Oni nyakam Oni nyakam Jesus you my all in all Ebe ko dike dika barabia apogo to boro izuboriri Ebe mbaba me ogungwara guo Jesus, you're my all in all. Asimu nebe kwa dike, dika barabia. Apo go to boro, izu boriri. Hebe mbaba mae, ogungwa sirike. Jesus, you're my all in all. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my son. Sopuru is my love, my love for him is better for us. Yes, Papa, love, 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 love. What I have is genuine love for my husband, Sopuru. Yes, Papa, love, love, love. Oh, my father, my Raya, no mamma, yes, in the Yes, Papa, love, love, love. Again. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Huh? Auntie, nothing. I'm, I'm okay. No! Don't tell me that you're okay. I am not a kid. When I see somebody that is in a bad mood, I will know. As I'm looking at you here, you are in a bad mood already. Why? Auntie, what do you expect from me? I'm not a happy woman. I'm sad. I'm lonely. She don't expect me to sit here and be happy knowing that my husband is in prison. 
and also knowing that he's going to be there for a long time. I'm not happy. I sometimes feel like I should uh, put, put an end to all of these sufferings because God, I'm tired. Huh. You are going too far. You want to kill yourself? What happens to your child? What will happen to your husband when he comes back and finds out that you killed yourself? Why are you saying this? Answer me. Oh, you don't want to talk. <sighs> My dear. You have to take things easy. You have to take it easy. Sooner or later, your husband will be back to take care of you and your child. Please. Please. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. <Nancy. sighs> My dear. I've been wanting to tell you something. What is it? I'll be leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Ah, Auntie, you just want to kill me now. How can you be leaving tomorrow? What happens to me? I'll be stuck here, lonely and sad. Ah, Auntie, please now. You promised you're going to be with me through this situation and all. So, I mean, where is, where is this coming from? Yes, I did. But there was a change of plan. My husband called me yesterday. He told me that my second son is sick. And since he has been crying, calling mommy, daddy called mommy to come and take care of me. He has been crying calling me. Please, I want you to understand. Let me go and take care of this sick boy. I'll be coming to check on you from time to time. Please. Hmm? Okay, um, I know, but can you just leave it? Today is Wednesday. Just leave it to next weekend, at least. So that I can prepare my mind psychologically that, yes, you live in. Because this is just like a shock. I mean, like waking up tomorrow and, ah, auntie, please, next weekend. Oh. It is far. Ah. Okay, let's do it like this. A day after tomorrow. Oh, auntie, a day after tomorrow, tomorrow is the same. I mean, what difference would that make? Well, it's not like I have a choice. Because your son is sick, that's... Okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll manage. I'll be here lonely. No, you are not alone. I'm miserable. The child is with you. Mm. Hmm? And God also is with you. I'm just tired. Please, don't say that. Mm. It's okay. Whew. Wow. Hey. No, leave it. No, please let me help you. Hey. <clears throat> Nah. I have to be on my way now. Hmm? Please, make sure you take care of the baby and yourself. Hmm? Auntie, I can't believe that you're leaving me all alone by myself in this house. So you're going like this, like this, like this, now you're going, you're leaving me. But, listen, stop saying that you're alone. You are not alone. But I'm God alone. Is with you. I'm alone. Huh? Don't forget that the baby is also with you. Huh? Like I said, I will be coming from time to time to check on you people. Huh? Come on, let's go. Mm. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Just... I want to cry. Uh -uh. <laughs> Meaning what? It's okay. Mm. Huh? 
I promised you that I will be coming from time to time. Hmm? I will not fail. Let me just... Where is your son? I said, where is your son? Why must I tell you my son's whereabouts? Why? That still has not answered my question. I said, where is your son? Uh, uh, Mama, why are you talking? Uh -uh. Mm. Mama, why is he shouting? Why are you shouting? He's, he's asking me where your brother Onyema is. Ah, is that what you are saying, small, small? <laughs> tell him now. You did not tell him that your son is now in Obodo Ibo. In fact, Uncle, let me tell you myself. My brother is now in Obodo Ibo abroad, making Oibo money. Hmm? At least he will not come to ask you for money again. Have that answered your question? You mean your son traveled overseas? Uh -huh. How did it happen? Huh. How come nobody told me? Why, why should we tell you? Why must we tell you? Why, Jukwaya? Ofebu, why must we tell you? What do you care about us? Huh? Ever since your brother, my husband died, have you ever checked on us? Never. Have you ever cared about us? Never. How we feed and how we take care of ourselves? Have you ever? Never. Now I should come and tell you where my son is. You see, Bwongwegi. You lie. Anyways, that is not why I'm here. I was driving past, and I saw people walking on that land your son promised to give me. For the money I wanted to give him, to give to people to pay the money you, 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 the, the, these people lent you for your surgery. Hey, uncle, calm down. What are you saying? Genti, we did not borrow any money from anybody, and nobody's coming to collect money from us. Let me ask you, what is your business with the people on that land? Oh. Why, why, why did you go there? What for? Maka, why? I asked one of them, and he told me your brother sold the land to his brother. That is why I have come here to find out if it is true. As what? Ofebu. Ofebu! Ina tokwanomoku. Ofebu, ina tokwanomoku, Ofebu! The land was my son's land. Ah. And he sold to whoever he wanted to sell to. What is your problem, Ofebu? Ofebu, I will help me with you. Mm -hmm. Leave my family alone. Leave us alone. Mm. Agatha, I'm Mama. going to the shop. Mm. Make sure you go and buy the bread for me. Go, Nemo. go eh? You are walking out of me? That means what I am saying doesn't make sense to you. It's all right. And even you, Agatha, you are working out on me. Uncle, I'm working out on you. What will you do? It's I'm all right. Out on you. We shall see. You shall see yourself. Don't worry, we shall I see. Call you. You, do nothing. you can't do anything. I said we shall see. You will see yourself. It's all right, no problem.
God, look at me. I'm almost out of everything in this house. I'm out of food. How am I going to cope? What am I going to do? God, look at me. To you because I'm in dead need of money. Do you know I don't have anyone to run to except you? I really need money. As I'm speaking to you, I don't even have food in my house. I'm so hungry. I can barely feed. I've not been eating well. And because of that, my baby too, ha, there's no adequate breast milk for him. Do you know that my baby cried all night? Because of food. I think the breast milk is no longer enough. But where do I find money from to buy milk? I don't have money to buy baby food. I can't even eat up more baby food. But I need to buy at this point, I think I need to buy baby food for him. So that at least I can use that one to compliment. That's why I've come to you. So please, help me with money. You know I'm not lazy. Ordinarily, I would have gone to look for something to do. But the doctor said I can't even do anything now until my operation is fully healed. Right now, I can barely lift a bucket. Any amount you have, oh, I'm not saying she dash me. Just borrow me. As soon as I am strong enough, I will work and pay back. And if I give you money now to buy baby food, what will you eat? How, how are you going to be eating? My own is not a problem. The most important thing right now is my child. I will be fine. So long as my baby is fine, I will be all right. What do you mean that your own is not important? So you don't care about yourself? You don't know that you're supposed to be eating so that you'll be strong. you have strength to feed your baby. Eh? Do you want to collapse? You want to faint one day? Eh? So what are you expecting me to do? I mean, what do I do? What do I do? I'm helpless now. What do I do? That's why I'm always telling you to go and seek help from your parents. Especially your father. Your father has enough money to take care of you and your baby, at least until your husband comes back from prison. But you will not listen. Hey, 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 please, oh, please, just say something else. I don't want to get, I don't want to get offended. Please. So he's still your father. Hey, excuse me, he's not my father. He is not. I am still looking for my real father. When I find him, I will let you know. I am never going to collect anything from that man. How many times do I need to tell you this? Oh, so my father sent my husband to jail so that he can be feeding me and be taking care of my baby or what? I should be here receiving money from my father who sent my husband to prison. I mean, think about what you're saying. Does it even make any sense to you? How do you think I can collect help or money from that man? Who is the reason for my problem? Or do you think I'll be begging for food today if my husband was not in prison? If I collect money from him, what will I explain to my husband when he comes out of prison? That I sold him to be collecting money for food? What kind of betrayal is that? Let me tell you, I will never, not in this life, even if that man is the last human being on earth, to, in fact, in a death situation, if I need somebody to save my life and that man is the only person that will save my life, I'd rather say goodbye to this world and die. That is how serious I am. I am not going to collect money from that man. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Oh. So please, oh, just say something else. Oh. Are you giving me this money or not? If you're not, let me start going. Ha! Oh. Excuse me. Please go and give me what you have, John. Stop being Shakara. She can't collect money from my father. Cannot collect money from him. Oh. <laughs> Never rich like that. I lie. <laughs> Take this is six thousand naira. You just have to manage it. I would have given you huh. more money, but Thank I gave you. some money to my mother yesterday for their in the the uniform that they use for an occasion. So just manage it. Thank you very much. This is the Lord. This is this will go a long way. And please don't worry yourself. Eh? As soon as I'm strong enough to start work, you are the first person I will pay. 
Thank you. It's okay. Don't bother to pay back. Don't bother. I dash you. I shouldn't. No. <laughs> You're lying. Don't pay back. It's for you. You're dashing me this money? Yes. Ginika. Ginika, you you mean you're dashing me this morning? Yes, my stubborn friend, I dash you. Ginika, your final. Hugumma, the most beautiful girl in this village. Oh, ne. How are you? Hugumma, <laughs> it's it's me, it's me, Hugumma. I, I said, how are you? I'm fine. I mean, you've been seeing me like every day in this village. So this one that you're hailing and praising me, I'm only wondering. Does it's the it... same me, your best friend's wife. <laughs> I know. Ah, okay. I know, I know. That is why I'm praising you. I just How wanted to be sure that you know who you're referring to because where is all of this title coming from? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the market. Ah. And each time I look at you, I understand how hard it has been for you. You say now that your husband, my best friend, has been in prison. Honestly, it's heartbreaking. I don't even know how to... But you've been a strong woman, honestly. You've been strong. The Lord I... is my strength. I know that things have been really difficult. In fact, you can say that I am an example of that woman that has been to hell and back. But to the glory of God, he has been faithful <sighs> and he has always been there for me and my child. Ne, mm. ne, truly. When I say I understand, trust me, I truly understand what you're going through. Honestly, I... Wait, wait. Don't really... Don't really have much here, but let me see. Let me keep this one for transport. Take. No, it's from my heart. I mean, take. Take it. See, when you get home, make sure you buy enough beverages for your son. And use the remaining to at least get something that both of you can eat and be happy. Eh? Your husband, see, your husband is my best friend and... This is a lot of money. I know. All this money for me. It doesn't matter. All that matters now is that I want you to be happy and want your son to be happy and healthy. That Just like that. Please. <laughs> um, <laughs> Obon, are you, are you sure about this? Please, can you go and get something for your son too? Okay. Eh? Hey. Go now, please. Yeah? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I am here. As far as I am in this village, I will make sure that you do not lack anything but you and your son. Your husband is my best friend. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's my best friend. Yeah? Hey, Please hey. make sure you buy enough beverages for your son. Yeah? Thank you. Take care of yourself. Yeah? Oh. Ubuna giving me money. I really don't understand. But I have a feeling about this money. I have a feeling about this money. There is something about his intentions. Hmm. I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful. I mean. Fine girl, fine girl, the most beautiful woman. Where is all that coming from? <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking.
hands when your face is like this? What is it? You know there's a portion of the Bible that says, teach me how to fish. Hmm? Okay. And not give me fish. Do you remember? As a friend, you have gone far and beyond for me. You have... You have exceeded my expectations. Kinika, you have tried for me. At this point in my life, I want to be able to take care of my responsibilities. I want to take charge of my life financially. I don't want to come running to you every now and then because I'm hungry and I need money. You are just one human being. You have your own responsibilities. You have things to take care of. That's why I want to take this burden off you. Please, oh, please don't be angry. If it's not so much to ask, can I be following you to that your site where you work? So that at least I can join you in the same job. So I can make my own money. That way you too you will rest from my wahala of always begging. Please, introduce me to them. Carry me along. Oboma, wait, I don't understand. Are you trying to tell me that you want me to take you to the site where I do my menial jobs? Yes. No, I'm Please. sorry, I cannot. Why not? I cannot do that. Not in this your condition. Eh? How can I how can I take you to the site where I'm doing menial jobs for you to follow me and go and do menial jobs? Eh? Do you want to kill yourself? Oh. Nee, I can't do that though. I cannot do that. If it's about you coming here to be asking me for money every day, there is no problem. I am not complaining. After all, you are my friend. Kineka, I am complaining. Eh, me, who is always collecting, is complaining. Even the Bible says it is more honorable and better to give than to receive. Kinika, I am complaining on your behalf. Ah, ah, what is it now? You are one human being now. Did you come to this life because of me? You have your own problems. You have your own responsibilities. Did you come to this life to suffer because of me? How can you be walking and toiling me all at, at the end of the day? You, you, you give me the money. And as for my health, don't worry. I am okay. I am strong. I'm strong and I see I have been lifting things now. I can see. I am strong enough. Nothing will happen to me. Please take me. Take me. Be cool. Okay, there's no problem. I will oh. take you to the site. Eh? No problem. But I hope nothing is going to happen, no. I just hope nothing is going to happen. Nothing will happen. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. I am fit. I am strong. When I say strong, I can do 50 press ups for you. <laughs> I'm not even joking, no. What hey, is there? My, go already, my, see, my friend. This car is already healed. <laughs> see? See? It's okay. Sit down. See now. You're, you're just very <gasps> stubborn. You just you? want to go. Oh, 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 oh. He's very proud of his money. He know the joke at all when it comes to money. Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of his money. Okwego, he know the joke with his business. Now only money language, he can make you day in peace here. With your Okwego. Lai, I want to talk to you. I die for this man. About our daughter. Thank you, Sam. Busy. Busy that is more important than our daughter. Eh? Are you ready to listen to me now or should I start scattering everything on, the, on this table? Just try it. Try it and see what I will do to you. Eh, I should try. I, should I, should I? Now, nah, nah, you better listen to me. Oh. You just better listen to me. Or something will start now to happen. And you, you, know, you know what I can do. Oh. I'm not keeping quiet anymore. I know your plan is to scatter this thing and steal my money. But you have failed. Now, what is it? Talk to me. But let it be something reasonable. Since you took our son-in-law's support to jail, I want to know how many times you have visited our daughter to know how she and our grandchild are faring. That's what I want to ask you. Well, thank God you said our daughter, not only my daughter. 
And let me also ask you, as her mother, how many times have you visited her? Of course, I don't need to go there. If she, she needs something, she will have come here crying for help. I thought you, you have something important to say. Oh, so what I'm saying is not important. Eh? You are asking me such questions. Are well, you not the one that said I should not step my feet there? Threatening me that if I go there, you will, you will take every property of my, my, my brothers just because you buried my father. Yes, I said that and I still mean it. So why are you complaining? Why are you complaining that she's not coming to ask for, for, for your help? You heard her say that she can never set her feet in this compound anymore. You heard her. How is it my business? Let her stay there and suffer now. Because I am counting my money. You know what? I just want to tell you that I will go to that compound. I will go visit my daughter. Let anything that will happen start now to happen. If I get my question, I don't want to be taking time. I don't want to be taking time. Try, I don't want to be taking time. He's very proud of his money. He know the joke at all when it comes to mommy. Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of his money. Okwego, he know the joke with his business. Uh, Johnson. Johnson. Uh, are you done servicing that, okay? Ah, uh, okay, just hurry up because another driver is coming to take it. No, don't, don't worry, the other one is no longer uh, 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 driving it. The other, forget the tire, just give it to Falconizer, let him patch it. I don't have money to buy another tire. Uh, how much? 800, just to service KK. Okay. I will give you 150. Okay. Oh, you are here. Okwego, it's you, Okwego. I greet you. You're welcome. This one, you are coming into my house, or shouting, and blah, blah. I hope all is well. It's you, Okwego, how can all be well? How can all be well when I saw your only daughter carrying block on her head and her five months old baby on her back working? Huh? How can all be well? It's you, Okwego. Let me ask you. Why are you this wicked to your only daughter? Eh? After sending her husband to prison, now she's working. I was just coming back, and I saw her carrying block on her head and her baby on her back, climbing upstairs. She's now suffering to put food on her table when she has a rich father like you. Eh? Ichi Okwego, why are you so mean? So mean to your only daughter that you want her to die before her time. First, you sent her husband to prison. And now she's suffering. She's suffering to make sure she eats. Eh? Woman, you and your husband should reason together like man and wife before it is too late. Because if anything happens to that girl and her child, hmm, I'll tell the whole world who killed them. It's your cake. And you think I've not been talking? You think I kept quiet? <laughs> I am happy you are here. At least you talk to him man to man. I am happy. We had issues yesterday because of this same matter. So please, talk to him. Talk to him. Woman is not just about talking. Play your role as a mother. Do what you are supposed to do as a mother. It's your okay, okay. It's your okay, go. Why are you clapping? What is the clapping for? Because my wife has given you an assignment, and that's exactly what we are doing. She asked you to talk to me, and you are talking to me as a man to man. Okay? You came all the way from your house to my house to come and tell me how to run my family. Okay? Ichi Okwego, did I hear you well? Which family? Have you any family? Which family are you running? Is this thing you are doing what you call running a family? <laughs> hey, Ichi Okwego, you should be ashamed of yourself. Which family are you running? First, you sent your son-in-law to prison out of wickedness. 
Your son, your one and only son, ran out of your house because of your wickedness. Now your only daughter is doing menial jobs to put food on her table. And you are here claiming to be running a family. Which family are you running, Ichi Okwego? You must be a fool. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to that girl or her child. Because if anything should happen to them, hmm, then you will know there are men in this community. Wait, 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 shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You are talking to me. Look at you. I am wearing red cap and you are wearing red cap. For that, we are not met. I will be J B J. We are not met. Okay? Now let me remind you in case you have forgotten. That girl in question is my daughter. The child you are talking about is my grandchild. The stupid boy, the idiot that I sent to prison is my son-in-law. So how is it your business? Man, leave my house. You shut, shut up and keep quiet. Ichi Okwego. The second is shut up you are and shameless. keep quiet. In Anaya. I'm leaving. I have endured enough. That is Okwego, shut up. Yes, shut up Okwego. Shut up! You have been using me like this. But I said no. Not anymore. Okwego, you must do something for my daughter. You must do something for my daughter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. I am suspecting you and okay. Girl. Suspect anything you want, I don't care. Eh? I don't just care. You don't care? Yes. You don't care? Yeah, okay, can I get it from you? Call it anything you want. Hey. Say anything you want. Leave my clothes. I will not leave you. That is, leave my clothes. I will not leave you. Go and do something for my daughter. After all my sufferings, going up and down under the sun with my child on my back, up and down the stairs, 2,300. Hi. It's okay. Tomorrow will be better and greater. At least this will feed me for some days. Gumma. Mama. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? God is faithful. God, so it is true. So it is true you went for a menial job with my grandchild. Under this your health condition. Eh? Why? <laughs> Do you want to injure yourself and the, and the innocent child? I'm asking you. You're asking me why? And I guess ah. this is what you could make after all your suffering. Mm -hmm. Okay? So why? Mama, are you seriously asking why? You're asking me why? Oh, you don't know? Hey, since you have forgotten, let me remind you. Your husband sent my husband to prison. My husband is currently in prison because your own husband sent him there. That is why. Okay, so what were you expecting from me? You don't have to talk like this. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I, I did everything I could mm -hmm. to stop your father from that ugly act against your husband. Indeed. And you also know that if I had my way, mm. I wouldn't have allowed him do what he did. Mm. Hey, Wonderful. Hey, Mama. Medicine after death. It is too late to cry when the head is off. All this one you're saying now is medicine after death. What's, okay, you, you tried your best, but it still happened anyways. You tried your best, but my husband is right now in prison. So is your best good enough? Your best still sent my husband to prison. So there's no point, oh. Please, just leave me alone. Leave me to suffer the way I'm suffering now, because that is what you and your husband want. I am okay. I am okay. I am not complaining. 
Okay? I did not come to you to beg for anything. I am fine. I am patiently waiting for God to bring my husband out of jail. And I'll be fine. In fact, I am fine. I'm all right. I'm fine, oh. <laughs> you are not fine. And I know. <laughs> nah. Take this uh, money. Use it to buy whatever you can. And stop suffering yourself. Doing many out jobs under the hot sun with my grandchild. <sighs> I'm begging you, please have it. Mama, thank you very much. Hmm? Keep your money to yourself. In fact, take your money back home to your husband. I do not need it. I am okay. I am not complaining. Am I a beggar? Did I come to you to beg for food? No, 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 no. Did I come to beg for soup? Or did I come to beg you for gari or rice? So why are you pitying me? I am fine, oh. I am fine. I am doing okay. By the grace of God, God has been taking care of me and my child. I am fine. No, you are not fine, Ugumma. Looking at you tells me you are not fine. Please, have this money. Leave me alone. I don't want your money. I don't need your money. I am fine. I am okay. I have my own money. There is pride in the money you work for. This is my sweats. It doesn't matter how I suffered, but it is okay. You think you can put my husband in prison and then you come here to give me money? You think you can buy my conscience? You think you can buy my conscience, right? It is not possible. As long as my husband remains in prison, I do not want to have anything to do with your money. I don't need it, mama. Take your money back home to your husband. Thank you. Mrs. Okwego, I don't want your money. Give me two cups of rice, one cup of beans. Are you after talking about it? Yes, ma'am. Let me have one. Then, um, uh, hey, give me pepper, 15 naira. Crayfish, 100 naira. Okay. <laughs> give me onions, fruit. Okay. How much is the onion? 50-50 naira, ma'am. Okay, give me two. No, make it one. One, two. Ah. Aboma. Hey. Uh -uh. Good, Aboma. Afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. No. What are you doing here? I came to buy food stuff. Hey. Okay, uh, Nne, calculate the... No, no, it's um... fine. I was already paying. Just say, give me my change, though. I'm done. You would allow me to pay for... Please, though, you've done more than enough. Don't worry yourself. Okay, uh, okay facts. You, you, you know what? Since you have refused me from paying, let me now give you something, so that when you go home, you can use it to buy something for you and take it. Mama, this is too take it. Ah, eh? this is too much. All these monies you've been giving to me, I don't know how I'm going to ever pay you back. Oh. Pay me back? For what? No, pay me back for what? This is your saying is even trying to annoy me now. How will I ask you to pay me back something I gave you from the bottom of my heart? The bottom, bottom. You think I know now? It's not possible. Everything I've given you, I've given you thick. So I am not giving you this money for you to repay me. I just want you and your, your, your child to be happy. So when you go use this money and buy some beverages for your baby and for yourself, if you need more, let me know. Yeah? Obama, thank you. Obama, Obama, call me Obama. Thank uh -huh. you. I appreciate this. Thank oh. you. Make uh -huh. uh, no sure you buy beverages for your baby. I will. Yeah? Oh. I'm going to own it. Uh, who is that? Next time when she wants to buy anything, you, you, you come, you tell me, so that I will, I will pay for it in, in advance. Yeah? I like helping people. Obona, <laughs> Obona, my guy. <laughs> See, uh, there's this thing I've been thinking, looking for a day like this to ask you. What makes you think? Goma will accept you as a boy. Uh, 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 you see why I keep telling you? Do you know that the way you are black? That is the way your, your brain is black. <laughs> How can you be asking me a, a full grown girl that I saw by myself? Do you think it is easy for a woman to, to be all by herself and take care of a child? 
She has agreed. That is why she's collecting my money from me. And I'm giving her. She's accepted. Mr. Kiataka, what if you empty your account on her and she refuses? What will you do? Da! Da! It is not true. Don't, do you have sense more than that lady? Do you, do, wait. Do you have sense more than her? She's not a fool and she will not even bear it. But if she tries it, she will pay me all my money. She, she will give hey. me all my money from A to Z. She will pay you all the money. Now let me ask you. What if you ask her to pay you all the money and she does that? What will you do? Who will give her the money to pay? Who will give her the money to pay? She does not have it. So there's no need. Don't even go there. Hi. Obona. Oh, well, You're a very wicked person. You're a very wicked person. So you know the poor innocent girl that her husband went to jail? You want to use that predicament to take advantage of her? What are you saying? You're very wicked and heartless. You're very wicked and heartless. Obona, oh, well, you're wicked. You, you, you are your black heart. You're wicked. Hey, ha. incredible. Do you think she does not have sense? No, 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 no. You, you, you have sh shouting here. Do you think she does not have sense? Eh? Why was she collecting all the money if she has not agreed in advance? Think, use your brain, use your brain. Eh? Hi. Have you forgotten the saying that, uh, that uh, the, the, the devil you know is better than and the angel you don't know? Do you think somebody is coming back? Eh? Five years. Five years. He will die there. He will die there. It is even better than that. that, 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 that. Oh, okay. You were wet and she refused. That is why you are here sitting like an idiot. We talk, but see, how to allow me to call her an idiot? Obuna, don't tell me that. Obuna, you are made from the bottom. Hey, from the bottom of my heart. That is where the love is coming from. It's not ordinary love. <laughs> you love me and you want to be sleeping with me, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Right, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> I don't want to say it. You have said it. No, it's uh, no, it's okay. We are adults. Yes. <laughs> you can spill it out. Yes. You want to sleep with me now, right? You want to sleep with me? Is it now? Uh, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you want. No, it's it's okay. It's well understood. And then to to ginger the swagger, you brought beer. Uh, you brought two bottles of beer so that we can ginger <laughs> before the action, right? <laughs> Oh, a wise man. That's very smart of you. Uh, but, Obom, unfortunately, I do not drink alcohol. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'll bring an energy drink. Uh, this energy drink I'll bring for you. Like, it, will, it will help you very well. <laughs> and even yeah. if I have to drink alcohol, I can only do that with my husband. Mm. He's the only one I share alcohol with. <coughs> Ubum, mm. can I ask you a question? Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Okay. My husband is your best friend. He's in prison and you want to help his wife and family by sleeping with her. Or you need to sleep with her first before helping her because she's vulnerable, right? Supposing there's a turntable, and by that I mean, supposing the situation was turned around and you happen to be the one in prison. God forbid I will never be in prison. God forbid it will never happen to me. I will never be in prison. Never! Hmm. Jesus name. I now understand that uh, common sense is not, <laughs> it's not very common. Don't worry, I'm going to speak in little words hmm? so that your chicken brain can digest it well. I said Eve. If you happen to be the one in prison and you make it out of prison only to find out that my husband was sleeping with your wife just to help her, how would you feel? How will it make you feel? Tell me. Are you going to be happy about that? Eh, hey, Obona? Hey! Man. Man, Chai, I have suffered, <laughs> but I don't blame you, <laughs> don't blame you at all. 
Um, just give me a minute, so I'll be back. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I know you uh, bring up that, bring up that. Oh, boom. This is how you came with the paper. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Ogbom, uh, on the 7th of April, you gave me 10,000 naira. 9th of April, you gave me 8,000 naira. That is two days after the first 10,000 naira came in. 11th of April, you gave me 12,000 naira. <laughs> From my heart, like, thick. And on the 15th of April, you gave me 3,000 naira. <laughs> so that is a total of 33,000 naira. I don't even know the amount. That's not no, don't worry. Is. I was actually writing everything down. <laughs> See? Okay. From the beginning of your kindness towards me, I knew where you were headed. I did. I saw through you. I knew you were never genuine. I knew it was never from your heart. I knew it was not for free. <laughs> I was 10 steps ahead of you. All the monies you have given to me is 33,000 naira. I have not taken a dime out of it. Because I somehow knew that a day like this will come. No, no, I'm not done. <laughs> when I'm talking, you have to listen to me. Listen until I finish. I want to go, it's okay. You cannot go without your stupid money. Here. See, this is your money. Foolish man. Stupid idiots. That is what you are. Do I look like a woman of easy virtue? When they see you, they think you are responsible. They don't know that you're just a fool. Big fool, idiot. Come and sleep with me now. Even if you are the last man on earth, I will never sleep with you. Evil man. Come on, come and pick the last to the last pieces. Pick them. And don't piss me off. Philanthropist. And let me not see, let me tell you the last warning is. I don't want to ever see you in my house. In fact, if you see me along the road, if I'm on the right, tilt to the left. If I'm on the left, tilt to the right. Because eh, if we meet like this face to face, <laughs> you will know that I'm a mad woman. Idiot. I don't blame you, do I? This is not my father. If not for my father's heartlessness and wickedness, will I be seeing all this? Will my husband even be in prison? Um, Ichi Okwego, Your Majesty. I sent uh, for you because um, there was a report to the palace that your daughter was found with other artisans at a building site carrying blocks. And uh, more disheartening to the, the story was that uh, she was carrying her son on her hot son, you know, to make an ends meet. Whereas uh, you, as her father, is well to do and should be able to provide for her, considering the fact that uh, you are the one who sent her husband to prison. Uh, so, is this true? Well, Your Majesty, to be honest with you, I had something like that. But the reason I did not believe what I had is because, you know, in this our village, there are rumors, gossip everywhere. Why must my daughter do that? Eh? What does she want that I, her father, cannot provide for her? Eh? It is not true. Ever since you heard that, have you gone in search of her as to know how she's faring? 
Have you gone to know how she has been feeding ever since her husband was jailed? Your Majesty, that girl in question is my daughter. She is my daughter. I've been sending money to her to my wife. You know the kind of business I do. I don't normally have chance. As for doing a liberal job, it is all a rumor. Don't tell me that. I know who you are. You can only tell that to a stranger and not me. Now listen to me. Go in search of your daughter and make sure that they are doing well. Your Majesty, with all due respect, you mean that I'm lying? Ijiogwe go, I have told you, go in search of your daughter and make sure that they are found. If anything happens to her and her daughter, I will take it up with him. Your Majesty, you... Get out of my sight! father is that? No, whose father? Eh? Because I'm still looking for my father. Do you know my father? Have you seen him before? I have told you that I don't have a father. Oh. As it is now, I'm in search of my real father. When I find him, I will let you know. This man standing here is not my father. This wicked man, this wicked soul standing here is not my father. Hey, wait a minute. Why, who, who is this man talking to? Are you in any way referring to me? No, are you talking to me? And which nonsense home are you talking about? What gives you the right to come to my company, my office, to order me around? Then they walk you. You are not mad. I don't want to believe that I'm, I'm the one you're talking to. Because it's only a madman that will walk into a place that he's not supposed to and be, uh, 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 and be giving orders. Ugoma, what is it? Ugoma, you and I know that I did nothing wrong to you or your husband. Your first party committed an offense and the law set him to prison. Why are you blaming me? Just hear Okuigo. You, yeah? you can imagine. You no, just hear the nonsense this man is spewing from his mouth. Imagine nonsense. You sent my husband to prison and you have the guts to come here and talk nonsense. Oh, no, no, wait. My husband just thrown into prison. No, prison is a very beautiful place. So he's thrown into it for tourism. See, you have to be careful. Okay, go don't damn me. Oh. Don't let me lose it, oh. Don't let me lose it. Get. See, I better drop that sack. I want to lose it for. Want, see, how can you be talking to your father? I want to change that for this man now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drop that your sack. Oh, yeah, let me know my Take. Take, 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 take. Cover your hand with this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come back for me. All away, no. What are you trying to do? I don't say all away. What are you picking? Where? All away. What are you trying to do? Eh? Nonsense. See, you're picking the cry, yo. Goma, Goma, you're picking the cry, yo. Goma. Goma, Goma, come and let me take you home. Wait, wait for me. Where this man? No, why you dey go? If I wait for me, now you dey crazy. Okay, go. Okay, go wait for me. Okay, go now go. Okay, go. Okay, go. Stupid man. Go punish you. Go, go punish you. Go punish you, dear. Come and take your home. Stupid man. Fool. 
foolish man. No, come. I'm going to break down my head. The next time I see him, his blood will touch the ground. His blood must touch the ground. Is he crazy? Hey. Is he mad? Is he crazy? Where you been there? Where, 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 where you been there? Foolish, foolish you. Why won't she chase you out, out with shovel? Eh? Can they forget the shovel where you see? Where did you, why did you go there in the first place? Where you shamelessly and wickedly sent her husband to jail? He told you, Agaba? Didn't you hear her say that she will never have anything to do with you in this life again? Enora Wokuria? Enoria? Or you thought she was joking? Eh? Nonsense. Now I am no more in good times with my daughter just because of you. Let me tell you. You better think of a way to amend all this. Especially now that Digwe is involved. In Anoya. All this rubbish you are vomiting here. All this rubbish you are saying here shows that we are in support of what your daughter did to me today. Just me, her father, out. With a shovel. If not that I entered my car and drove off, she would have hit me. So why did you drive off? Why were you running? You should have waited for her. Hey. Yes. You have not seen anything yet. She's just beginning. Nonsense. And let me tell you, if this thing continues like this, you will leave me with no option than to pack my bags here and go and live with her till her husband comes back. Ya can chegwage. Ya ke chorewam. Ya ke chorewam. Eh? Well, I can see that both of you are planning to kill me, but you won't succeed. I know what to do. There's nothing you can do. I know what to do. You, there's nothing you can do. You want me anything? You cannot do anything. What have you done all these years? Can you feel me go all these years? I'm asking you. Just, just because of ordinary KK, you sent your, your, your son in law to jail. Ordinary KK. Please let me let, 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 let me hear what. Ordinary KK, rubbish KK, useless KK. Useless KK. Can you buy that buy the tire of that KK? I can, can buy can everything. Can you afford it? I can afford it and afford yeah, you. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay, 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 I will change it. I will change five for you. You want that? You say a man. I know you are very angry with your father and I. But I want you to understand that I tried talking to your father not to do all this. I tried. And I want you to know that despite what happened, he is still your father. Please forgive him. I'm begging. Forgive him. Forgive, you see? Mom, have you taken your time to evaluate the depth of pain and hurt that man's action is making me go through. Before you come here and speak to me about forgiveness, what did you do on your own part as my mother to ensure that this doesn't happen? Because it is easy for you to come and ask for forgiveness on behalf of a man who has made me Suffer. I practically cried. I begged him to forgive my husband, but he refused. And you're coming to ask forgiveness on behalf of that same man. Mother, look at me. In my condition, I am out in the sun with my little baby on my back. I toil, I labor. I do many out jobs just so I can feed. There is no money coming to me from anywhere. If I don't work, I will not eat. I tie my baby on my back, go under the sun. I toil. 
just because I have a father who is heartless. Now you're begging me to forgive him. You were there the times I come crawling, crying, kneeling before him, asking for simple forgiveness for my husband. What was this crime? Something that could have happened to anybody. He couldn't forgive my husband. My husband is languishing in prison, all because of the same man. <laughs> Mama, please, oh, I, I am a Christian, <laughs> but don't come here asking me for the impossible because I am not God. Put yourself in my shoes. If you were in my shoes, <laughs> are you going to be preaching forgiveness? Are you going to be able to forgive? No, answer me. Please, oh. <laughs> Mom, please. I just, I beg you, please. Just let the sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> forgive. My daughter, I, I know all this. And I have talked to your father. Forgiveness. <laughs> Please, I'm not Jesus. He gave me this 200,000 mother to give you. To take care of yourself and uh, our grandchild. At least it will go a long way. <laughs> Please accept it. 200,000. I mean, is this supposed to be a bribe? 200,000. What can 200,000 Naira do to my pain? Is this going to wipe my tears? Is this 200,000 Naira going to bring back my husband? Or bring back the years? that my husband is going to spend in prison. It's okay. It's okay. Please. It's all right. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you. Nine. Uguma is still angry. Very, very angry. She complained a lot. And I saw reasons in everything she said. Your daughter is in very big pain because of what you did to her. What of the money I gave to you to give to her? Did she collect the money? Mm, she collected it. But I am not comfortable with the way she collected that money. How do you mean she collected the money, but you weren't comfortable with the way she collected it? The most important thing is that uh, she collected the money because she needs it. Eh? You say she was lamenting. And that is because she doesn't have the money, but now she has the money. She will keep quiet. She would even like her husband to stay more years in the prison so that I will be giving her more money. You know, you women, you like money a lot. Eh? Okwego, can you just listen to yourself? That our daughter will like her husband to spend more years in prison just because you gave her money. How are you even sure that she accepted that money? Huh? I don't understand you. But you said she collected the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it not be that you are, trying to, you, you are trying to deceive me and keep the money in your pocket because I don't trust you. Beatrice, let it not be that you, you deceived me and keep the money in your pocket. Eh, man, again, you that, Gako? Eh, 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 okay, go. Useless man. Oh, you are here. Look at your life. Stupid man. What do you think you're doing? No, 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 tell me. What is the meaning of that, that nonsense? You think by sending me 200,000 naira, you buy my conscience? You think money can buy my conscience? Or you think your stupid money can bring my husband out of, uh, out of the prison you sent him? Will your stupid money give back the father of this baby? Stupid, useless old man. I do not want to come to this company and warn you again. This 
this is the last time you're going to send me your cost money. Okay, go. I do not need your money. I do not need your bribe. Do not bribe me. Sending me 200,000 naira cannot erase your sins. You will still die, perish, and go to hell. 200,000 naira cannot, cannot, cannot stop that. Evil man. Let me not come back here and repeat myself. Oh, I do not want to have anything in this life to do with you. As long as my husband remains in prison, you can never have peace. You can never know peace. 200,000 naira cannot bring back your peace. You will still die and go to hell. Foolish old man. I will never have anything to do with you as a father. You are not my father. You are cursed. Now take, take your, take your, take your cost. Take, take, take your cost money. Take it, take it. Foolish old man. Stupid man. Onyara. You are not saying anything. Papa Opuwego is very proud of his money. He not a joke at all when it comes to mommy Opuwego. Opuwego is very, very proud of his money. Opuwego, he not a joke with his business. Now, only Ogoma, money. Ogoma, sometimes I don't even understand you. How can you reject the 200,000 naira that your father sent to you? <laughs> do you know what that money can do in your life? Okay, okay, are you trying to tell me that you prefer going from one side to another, looking for liberal works to do? So that's, I don't even understand you, eh? What is wrong with you? Genica, let me tell you. I return that money with my full chest. And I will return it over and over again. See, I'd rather suffer. In fact, I'd rather die than to collect money from that man. I have told him that I will never in this life have anything to do with him. Oh, he thinks I'm joking. He better not send me any of that, that cost money of his own because I'm not going to collect. What do you expect from me? You mean you expect me to sit back and collect money from that cost man knowing fully well that my husband is in prison today because of that same man? No, now, I can't do that to my husband. That is the highest height of betrayal. Okay, we'll go my bot. No bot, oh. Please, no bot, no bot whatsoever. Don't bot me. Please, oh, I'm not interested. Eh, hey, um, Ginika, how about that um, construction site you told me about? You told me that there's a site that needs workers now. Hmm, my sister, there's this construction company at um, Ama for Community. They say that they are looking for laborers, so that was what somebody told me. You mean an Ama for here, our neighboring I'm community? I'm telling you. I'm then what are we still waiting for? Ha, me, I need money, oh. As you see me like this, nothing got me, Chimba, nothing. Hey, I don't have money, I'm broke. Please, I, when are we going? Tomorrow morning first, and I'll come to your house. I'm Even if you say we should go today, now, now me, I'm ready. But since you say tomorrow, no problem, tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you. Don't worry, tomorrow we'll go I'd rather go and work and sweat for my money than to collect money from that house. We'll come at Elio so that we'll not get there and they'll say that they've collected somebody else. I'm so. not doing anything, do I have a job? I trust you now. Very early, we'll come at Elio. You mean this onions is for 1,000 naira? Yes, so mama, 1,000. Huh. That woman. I don't know what's wrong with that woman. We're almost quite. And there's only few big ones that are inside, sir. Ha! Mama, I, I, I won't even try to, to buy from her. I won't try it. I won't try it. Imagine, I was telling her. Oh. Yeah? Ah, mommy, mommy. Mommy, good afternoon. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, how are you, ma? I'm fine. How is my baby? Ah, fine. Oh, we are doing okay today. How is the Thank world? God. Ah, God is faithful. Mommy, I, I hope you have that my bread. That one you used to keep of for course, me. Of course, yes. It's that very good. soft one. Yes. Uh -huh. Give her that bread that has a blue uh -huh. so Yes. Uh, which one do you want? Brown or white? Uh, no, ah. Mommy knows now. <laughs> it's always the brown one. Mama, do you know her? Ha, ha, mom, ha, mommy knows us very well. You know, she's like my big mommy in this village. You know, I'm not from here since I came here to work. She has been the one taking care of us, me and my baby. <laughs> Please, oh, I want Coke. Okay. Uh, one Coke to flush it down. And one pure water, please. Thank you. Hi, baby. Ha, mommy, fine, no, oh, we are doing okay. Ha, the, the work, eh? The work is just, anyways, I'm almost done for the day, Sha. Mm. Thank you. Let me put it I bet my first drink the water. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well done. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama, like you know her very well. Ha, ah, mom, ha, mommy knows us very well. You know, she's like my big mommy in this village. Since I came here to work, she has been the one taking care of us, me and my baby. You mean you take this baby to the site? Oh, no, 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 no. This one is too hot for the child. Now, why would you do that? Um, are you from this village? I'm not. No, no, I'm not from this community. It's the site work that brought me. What about your husband? 
Uh, you know, my, my, my husband, our daddy is on a very long trip. He's on a long trip. And you know, as a woman, it's not good for you to just sit down and fold your hands. So I'm just trying to put body and soul together. Yes. How come I've not seen her, Mama? Like, can, I, can I carry the child? I, I'm even leaving the child with mommy because I'm going back to work. Mm -hmm. Hey, mommy, yeah. please, oh, take your baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me have the cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Mommy, it's like you help me change the nappy, oh, so okay. because it's like the nappy is soaked uh -huh. already. This, this baby is so fine, though. Uh, I know. It doesn't look like you. I'm sure it looks like the ah, father. Ah, he's a man now. It looks like the father. <laughs> Even the color. <laughs> na man, na man, he be. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute. Thank you. Cutie, cutie. You are big. Cutie, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> How come I've not seen you with this child? Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on. Mama, I will marry. Uh, uh, go on, get money. Please, oh, how much? Give me one. Um, 250 naira. This is, you know the price already. Oh, okay. I'm begging me change. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. God will bless you for all you do. She traveled. <laughs> like, it's on a long trip. And I don't want to stay in one place. I'm just trying to move around. I was like, oh, okay. So at least with her again around, that's a lot of relief. I hope you're not telling me woman. about your husband. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I just thought that he like, traveled. Mm -hmm. She was still like, ah, are you from this village? Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm not. I came from the other village. The mother was even telling her that, ah, don't worry. I know her story. Hi. I said, ah. So at least now that she's around, she'll be happy and more than her to help me look at my baby. Mm. So that's a lot. At least I can. Mm. If, if I'm not here with, if I'm here without the baby, at least this will give me. Mm, to make you work well. I'll work better. I'll make more money. So they should be there. I'm, ah, I'm very happy. Oh. They are good people, though. That woman. They that woman people. is a good woman. I'm sure the daughter is a good woman, too. Thank God, though. Ah, take him. Let's talk now, huh? Let's hurry up so that we'll go back to work. Hmm? Mm. I haven't told anything. She said she was going to beat the baby for me. So that yeah. By the time I get to my baby is already beaten. Hmm. Just to carry him and go and sleep. She your sister? No, she's not my sister. She's my friend, but she's like a sister to me. Why will you allow her to be doing that kind of hard job? From my findings, she did an operation not long ago. And headwise, she's not supposed to be doing any hard work now. It's very dangerous. Doctor, I told her several times, but she would not listen to me. Eh? Please, is she going to be all right? She'll be fine, but don't allow her to do any hard work till the next 10 months. Doctor, I will do as you have instructed. Hey, Doctor Bato, I hope she will be all right. Don't worry, she'll be okay. Excuse me. Okay. Hi. Go, ma. Hey, I keep telling you, don't follow me. Hard work, you will not listen. Now see where your stubbornness has landed you. Hi. Go, let nothing happen to her. Hey, she got Hey. Madam, you're fine now. As a matter of fact, you've been discharged. But I must warn you 
do not do any hard work anymore. If you love your life, unless you be hospitalized again. Wow. Okay. Do you hear what I said? Yes, yes, doctor. Are you sure? I, I heard you. Excuse me. All right. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much, doctor. doctor. God bless you. I hope you will listen to what she said. I hope you will listen to what the doctor has said. How can I listen you. to what the doctor has said? No, how can I listen? How can I afford not to work? How do I feed? Who will help me take care of my child? Ha. That one is very difficult. Too. Now that I've been discharged, how do I even pay for my hospital bills? Your friend Agatha has taken care of the bills already. I'm telling you. Agatha. Agatha, your friend. Agatha paid my bills. She paid your bills. She's a very nice lady. Very nice. <gasps> I didn't expect it at all. Oh my God. Thank God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Hey, Agatha, God bless you for me. Oh. God bless you. Hey. <laughs> Someone brought a report to the palace that your daughter went to Amafo with other artisans and uh, at, the, at, the, at the end she fainted and uh, was rushed to hospital. Are you aware of that? Yes, Your Majesty, what you heard is true. But Your Majesty, I have tried all my best to take care of my daughter, but she refused to give me attention. Eh? Your Majesty, I, I don't know. My daughter is very stubborn. I don't know what is wrong with her. Do you know that I sent my, my wife to her house with the cash of 200,000 naira? She rejected the money. I then had the God to walk into my house with the money and threw the money on me with serious warning that uh, she doesn't want to have anything to do with, uh, 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 with, with me or Puego, her father, in her life again. Uh, well, uh, there's nothing I can do again, so I have to, I have to stop my phone. Very well then. I want to ask you, if you are in her shoes, will you gladly accept that? No, I'm asking you. You are just lucky that uh, she didn't break your head. Huh? Your Majesty, you said that she should have broken my head. It's all right. Well, I don't blame you people because you don't know how much they sell cake in the market. Will you shut up? You deserve more than what you're getting now. Listen to me. I have told you this before and I'm still telling you now. If anything happens to your daughter and her son, I will not mind that she is your daughter. I will deal with you severely. Now, go in search of that girl and make sure that herself and her son are well fed until her husband returns from wherever you, you sent him to. I hope I made myself clear. Your Majesty, I have heard you. Like I said, you know my daughter is a very stubborn person. But no, I will try. Uh, my Out! I'm already on my way. Probably. I 
I will try. But I will not kill myself because of good money. Goma, I'm worried. Over what? Now that the doctor has asked you to stop these menial jobs you're doing, what are your next plans? What do you intend to do? Mm. I'll be trying. I'll be trying. Little by little. I don't understand. You want to try what? Uh, work, of course. So you think I'll just fold my hands and sit down because the doctor says I'm not fit medically to work? Who is going to feed me? Oh, you want me and my child to die of hunger and starvation because my health is, is, is threatening me? I'm not going to fold my hands and sit down like that, oh. Because nobody will feed me, my dear. I have to work no matter what. I will try. Small, Mini, small. Wait, meaning you want to go back to the work? After everything that happened to you, your health condition, I am not going to let that happen. Ugoma, what is wrong with you? Why can't you go back to your father and let him help you? Forget about the past. What has happened has happened. Eh? At least let him help you until your husband comes back from prison. Oh, Are Gine you serious? Ginika, did I just hear you say past? No, 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 no. What is past about my condition? Look, I would rather die. I would rather die of hunger and starvation than collect one dime from that man. He's the reason for my predicament. So what is past about it? Good day. Huh? Good day. Okay. What can I what can I do for you? His Majesty wants to see you at the palace today. His Majesty wants to see me. Um, what did I do? Is there a problem? I wouldn't know. I'm only a messenger. Um, in, in that case, tell His Majesty that I will come to the palace soon. Okay. I guess that should be all. Okay. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. This one, His Majesty, wants to see you. I hope there's no problem. Mm. I don't think it's a problem. Mm. Mm. If there was a problem, His Majesty would have asked him to drag me to the palace. You have a point. But this is like an invitation now. Yes. Like at at my time. Yes. I don't and think he it's was a, very calm. I don't think it's a problem. It's not a problem. Ah, yeah, better not be. I just pray something good. Something okay. good at least that will make you to stop doing these many jobs you're doing. Eh? I just hope it's something that will benefit you. And you stop telling me to collect money from my father. Stop giving me that advice. That is wrong advice. The wicked man that put me in this situation and condition. That's why you want to die, kill yourself, carrying blood, I will doing not die. jobs. I feel when stronger. You, know you have a baby with your health. I will not let you do that. I feel stronger now. Sopuru is my love. My love for him is better for us. Yes, Papa. What I have is genuine love for my husband. Yes, Papa. Oh, my father, no mamma, yes, yes, in the Papa was in a me Thank God. I'm strong. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Where are you going to dress like this? 
Hey, I'm, I'm just rushing to the palace to come back. Yesterday, the Igwe sent one of the palace guards to invite me. But I couldn't make it yesterday because I wasn't feeling so well. Today, now I said, oh, since I feel better, let me just use the strength and rush to the palace to know why he's calling me. Guma, wait. Igwe sent for you. I hope all is well. Mm, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a problem. I mean, if there was a problem, don't you think you would have dragged me out since yesterday? But the invitation was yesterday and I'm still here and nobody has, you know, come to harass me. I don't think it's a problem. Anyways, I'm just going to find out. Okay, if you say so. Where is your child? He's inside sleeping. Okay. Are you leaving today? No! I've okay. come to stay with you. Hey! Three days. Only three days. Three days. Hmm? Welcome. Thank you, my dear. Hi, Come in, Ugo. I'm happy. In, Thank God. Look at you. Ugo. My daughter, I heard that you collapsed at the building site and uh, was rushed to the hospital. Is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. So, how are you doing now? I'm better today. I, I didn't make it yesterday because I wasn't feeling too strong. That's why I, I came today. But oh. I'm oh. a lot better. Save your breath. Um, your father told me that uh, he sent your mother to your house uh, with a sum of uh, 200,000 Naira. But he refused the money. Is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. I did. I refused the money because I do not want to collect any money from that man. I don't understand the rationale behind him giving me that money. Knowing fully well that He's the reason my husband is in prison. I did everything humanly possible to beg my father. I crawled, I cried, I pleaded. All to no avail. Remember I came to you and you also spoke to him on my behalf, but he never listened. Now that my husband is in prison, he's trying to give me money. There's no way I can collect that kind of money from him. I would rather die. I'd rather go hungry than to collect money from my father. I'm uh, sorry, but that's why I didn't collect it. It's okay. Um, I understand your pain. But I do not want you to continue as an artisan uh, for your health's sake. But I don't have a choice. If I do not, I will go hungry. I will not be able to even take care of my child. I won't be able to buy the basics. Oh, it's okay. I, 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 I know I will, I, I will take care of that. Um, Your just Majesty. Take, just take. Take. Your Majesty. Oh, wait. Uh, that is uh, some of uh, 50,000 Naira for your upkeep. Uh, use it judiciously. Uh, and um, from today, henceforth, if there is anything you need, uh, call me. Your Majesty. You mean you're giving me 50,000 Naira? Oh, that's nothing. It's nothing. So, you, you mean I can, I can go with all of this? <laughs> um, just to take care of yourself and your child, that's all. Uh, and please, always remember, when you need anything, come to the palace. Stand up. Don't kneel. Oh. Your Majesty, I uh, bless you. 
God bless you, Your Majesty. God bless you. I'm so grateful to you. God will bless you. God will bless you. God in heaven will shower his blessings upon you. Your pockets will never go dry, Your Majesty. My God in heaven will replenish your pockets. God bless you. Uh, it's God bless okay. You, sir. Uh, uh, it's, it's nothing. Go quietly stand up and go home. I can't believe this. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. I'm shaking. Go home. Your Majesty, thank you. Uh, you, you, you mean I can go now? Go home uh, and please take care of your child. God bless you. Your Majesty, God bless you. Hey! <sighs> At least now you can rest. I told you that Ugoma is not that type of person. But you wouldn't listen. Just look at the way you went and just embarrass yourself. Hey. See, uh, uh, Kenne, the, the, the challenge is not even all these things you're saying. When I went to the house, I was bragging. Like uh, I, I was even ready to embarrass her so that she would give me all the money I've been giving her if she, 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 she said no. But she surprised me. She went inside. Bought out every penny with paper where she wrote dates and time. I gave, I gave me all the money. You can't shame me, catch me. I never feel cocoa there. My legs, we are, we, we are pinned to that floor. You see, uh, Obona, sometimes you amaze me. Honestly. I know how many times your sister and your mother came to me that they were asking you to give them money just for food. You couldn't even give them anything. All you know is to go about rubbishing your money on your best friend's wife. What is your problem? You know, Shame on you. Do you know you're a very bad friend? You're a disgrace. You're a, you're a bad friend with a black heart and a black spirit. Okay. With a black face. That is what, what you are. I, I, I know your problem. You're just jealous. So it is because I had to come and talk to you as a friend. And I told you what happened between me and Ugoma. That, that, that is why you have the audacity. That's why you have the right. You are looking me in the eye uh, telling me rubbish. Is it your, is it your, your mother? Is it your sister? Obona. Are they your sisters? I will are they your mother? Come, you're insulting my house. If I see you, which, which house? This is Uncle Mpe. This is our house. Eh? Begin to leave my house. Ta, come on, get out. Uncle Mpe. Obona, I say leave my house. Leave, leave Uncle Mpe. Oh, Uncle Mpe. You call it Uncle, Uncle Mpe. Can you beat me? Obona, can you even, even mold, even one block? Eh? A structure that even called your own. Just I one have block. an empty plot that will be upstairs. I will not you. be without company. You are not ashamed of yourself. You hole. Rubbishing your money have on you a woman. Nice? Have My you friend, get nice? out. Idiot. At least I'm able to put this on company and put something. On company. But you, even you one have... block, you can't even mold. I have empty plot. All you, you know is going plots. about pursuing a married woman. One day you see what you've done to yourself. Just relax. Hey. Auntie. Auntie O! Drop it here. Auntie! Ha! Hey, whoa. Ah. Auntie, take. Ah, ah. You, you give me change, oh? I don't get change. Ha! Now, ah, wow. Okay, take it, try. Thank you. Thank you. Auntie. Who owns all this? Auntie. It's me, oh! Huh? Hmm, auntie, it's me. How? <laughs> it's the Igwe. Oh. The Igwe decided to embarrass me today. Hey! Auntie, I got to the palace. Auntie, wait now, listen to the story first. I went to the palace. The Igwe said, eh, first of all, he pitied me. He said, oh, he's very sorry for what happened to me, oh. I mean, what happened to me at the, you know, at, at work. I said, okay. From there, he said, wait, oh. Why did you refuse the money your father gave you? I explained to him. I gave him my reasons. He said, yes, so that he understands. He understands with me. Afterwards, the Igwe landed me 50,000 Naira. 50,000 what? 50,000 Naira. Hey, God. Auntie, the Igwe gave me 50,000 Naira to go and buy food stuff. <laughs> he also added that he doesn't want me to ever do those menial jobs again. That if he catches me, he's not going to be happy with me. In fact, hey, the Igwe said, if I need anything, uh, I should rob to the palace. That the palace gate is open for me anytime. So I quickly left there. Maza Maza, I ran to the market to buy these foodstuffs. You know why? 
because there's no single food in the house. In fact, when you came, I was like, hey, my heart was cutting. I said, hey, what is Auntie going to eat? Oh, because <laughs> I have eaten everything I have in the kitchen. But look at me now. No, look at me. He said, from now till my husband comes out of prison, that he will take care of me and my child. Will I finish 50,000 naira food before my husband comes out? For where? Hey! hey! Plus, I have the license to go back. He said, when I finish this, I should come back. If I need anything, I should come back. So, Auntie, see. Hey! <laughs> the Lord has smiled on me. Oh. Go back. Mm -hmm. Auntie, let's go inside. Go Help me carry this thing. Let's go inside. God. <laughs> See me, oh. God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God increase you. Amen. May God. Ah. <laughs> you will look at home. me. Look at me. <laughs> Only yesterday I was crying over food in my kitchen. When I checked everything, I was out of almost everything. I said, hey. hey. See, oh. But look at me today. Oh, go. Good for him. Man. Good for him. Shame. <laughs> shame. Shame. Shame on him. Shame on him. He thinks I will go hungry. My God is not sleeping. Look at me now. Hey! You carry this one. Hey! And see, easy, easy. No, I'll manage. I can carry this one. Hey! Hey! And see. Shame, hunger, shame unto you. Shame unto you, hunger. Mama. What and what have you written down? Um, I've written um, biscuits, different types, four cartons, um, noodles, four cartons of noodles, beverages, different types of beverages. Um, Mama, who is that? Hmm? Let him come with us. Um, good day, all. Good day. Welcome, my son. I guess I'm in love with I'm looking for Agatha and Sofa. Um, oh, Agatha and Sofa. Um. Be good. I'm from the Korea service. I have some parcel for you. Yeah. Parcel quoi? From who? Well, I wouldn't know. I think it's from abroad. Here. Yeah. Abroad? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mama, who know me that will send me a message I from don't my brother? Who would have sent ah, ah. me? Wait, let me let, wait, let me find out. Mama, it's from Brother Onyema. Onyema, Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, Mama, wait, what wait, wait. Mama, wait, let me finish. Wait, 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 Mama. Oh. Mama, this is. Ego Ibo. Mama, who has done that? So, Mama. Ego Ibo. Ego Ibo, Mama. Mama, Ego Ibo. Mama, thank you, thank you. Let me finish. Let me. Well, Mama, like I said, my name is Johnson. I'm a building contractor. Your son, Onyema, sent me to you and your daughter. So, you show me the owners of those lands that he discussed with you, so you can discuss with them. Then he will send me money to go and buy them. And he will also send me the building plans, so I can start work immediately. Immediately? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, my son. Yes, Mama. You're welcome again. Thank you, Ma. My son, Onyema, has called us already. 
and told us that you were going to come. So my son, it is not a surprise that you're here. Hmm? Welcome. Uh, but uh, my, don't be offended. Contractor, right? Yes. Uh, please, don't be offended. No problem. What kind of a house did my son, Onyema, ask you to build for him? <laughs> to be frank with you, Mama, I don't know. I've not seen the building plans, like the house plan, I've not seen it. But from the way your son was talking, I think he wants to build a big house hey! and a fine house. Hey! Big house! Yeah. Hey! So, oh, Onyema, my son, now has that kind of money yes. to build my tea house. In the moment, are you saying? I think it's made. I knew already that my brother was going to be rich. I, I knew it. I knew it. I can't wait for my brother to come back to this country to come and shut that away with my tweets for me money. I go Igbo money. Hey, Mama. Hey. Mama, so... Mama, so when can we go and see the owners of those lands so that we can negotiate with them because he wants me to start building instantly, immediately, no time. Hey, hey. Now, if you want us to mm. go right away, mm. eh? mm. I think what I'm wearing mm. eh? <laughs> can suit the movement. Mm -hmm. We can go now. <laughs> <laughs> go? Eh? Then what are we waiting for? Eh? We can go immediately now. Oh, yes. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Mama, are you going with us or you want to go to the shop? Shop, go. Go, shop and wait. Mama, I'm going with you. Let me lock the door. Hey! hey. Stop. <laughs> Mama, you please go back to your own after that. I was in the hospital for two days and afterwards I was discharged. But the doctor warned me that I'm no longer fit to do any hard work. That's a matter of urgency. I have to stop doing menial jobs, going up and down the stairs, carrying blocks and all of that, except I just want to kill myself. Well, I was really confused because <laughs> that has been my only source and hope. That has been the only thing that brings money into my hand. That's how I've been able to take care of myself and my child so far. So asking me to quit was like, where do I go from here? Even my friend Ginika came around and was also advising me to listen to the doctor. I was in the midst of an argument with her, argument over working or continuing working and not, because I told her that no matter what, 
I still have to find a way of doing these jobs, even if it's little, little. Might not be as, you know, as much as I used to, but the little I can, I'll still have to be doing these chores so as to get feeding money. That was when the Igwe sent one of his palace guards to me. In fact, he came in while I was still um, arguing with my friend Genika about not working and working and said the Igwe wanted to see me. At first, I thought there was a problem because I wasn't still strong enough. I couldn't go to the palace that day. The next day, I went. The Igwe listened to my story. He pitied my condition. And then he said, henceforth, he doesn't want me to work or do many out jobs or any form of hard work anymore. That if I need anything for myself and my baby until my husband comes back from prison, that he's more than willing to help me. <laughs> That's how the Igwe gave me 50,000 Naira. <laughs> the first 50,000 Naira. It was like a shock. <laughs> Ever since then, it has been the Igwe. God has used him to keep me away from hunger, starvation, Despite the fact that I'm not going to sites to work, I have not been lacking food though. And my baby has been getting the basic supplies so far. That is my story. So, my father-in-law, your own father, sends you to this misery after sending me to prison. Your own father. God. God. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Whatever he must have done, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me anymore because after all, my husband is here with me. He's alive. <laughs> and that is all that matters to me right now. I know what I saw in that prison. So, things nobody would imagine. But you see, thank God I didn't die. Thank God I came back. I came back healthy. My strength was you and our child. Two of you kept me going. Beyond the hardship in that prison, I always said I must, I must make it through to get to my family. And you're here. And that is all that matters. It's Despite all you went through while you were in prison and all that I went through, here waiting for you. You're here, alive. And I am too. And our baby. Who we'll survived this? I have never been in doubt. You must survive <laughs> this. Thank God. I have never been in doubt. Not for one day. So, what of my friend? What, what, what of Obuna? Didn't he say anything? I mean, what do he should have said something? Obuna should have said something. He should have done something. I believe. I mean, my, my friend should have had an opinion in this. Didn't he come through for you? <laughs> Obuna. Ah. My love. Yes. This is not the time. 
No, 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 it's that a problem because I, I know Obuna. Obuna is my guy. You know, Obuna, Obuna will definitely stand in for me. I know, but this is not the time. Don't worry. Um, for now, I need you to clean up. Clean up nicely. I mean, like all of this. And go to the palace to thank the Igwe. The Igwe has been amazing, he's been awesome. God has used him to take care of your family. You need to thank him. Then when you come back, we have all night, all day, all night. In fact, we have to forever to talk about five years. Five years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in prison for five years. It doesn't matter anymore. Your father sent me to prison for five okay. years. It doesn't matter anymore. Five years. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I'm back. I know. It is well. Still like a dream. Uh, Igwe, uh, may you live long. Uh, I actually came to thank you for everything you have been doing for my wife and my child. Uh, as soon as I came back from prison, I was told everything. And I just want to say, may God keep you. May God keep you for us. May nothing evil befall you. You will live long, Igwe, because you're a good man. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. Save thank your you. breath. Um, you don't need to thank me as such. Every member of this kingdom is my child. Um, well, you're welcome home. Thank you. Um, uh, I tried my best to talk to your father-in-law. Uh, before I knew it, uh, you went to jail without my knowledge. But uh, that is by the way. Now that you are back, um, you must um, see it as experience. Hmm? Thank you, Igwe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, one more thing, uh, like I said, uh, it's very important that you forgive him totally. Your father-in-law, I mean, uh, and try to fix yourself somewhere to cushion the effect of what your wife went through when you were in prison. It's very important. Yes, sir. Uh, Igwe, I've heard you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Igwe. Thank um, you. Uh, I have to be on my way now. Oh, Thank okay. you. Before you, you do that, um, it is normal that uh -uh. now that you are back, you would need something to augment. Hey. Uh, you, you just uh, hey. manage this. Igwe again? There is nothing. Hey. Thank you, Igwe. Thank you so much. I'm grateful, Igwe. I'm so no, grateful. No, 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 Thank you. I'm grateful. Do Thank Please. you. May God keep you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know what you have done for me now. Thank you. I am grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, no, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nothing. Thank you. I'll be coming from time to time, Igwe. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. May you live long, Igwe. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi. Now, your wife told me that you rushed to see the Igwe. Yes, so I went to see the Igwe, and the Igwe, you know, ah, Igwe, very nice man, very nice man. I tell you, very nice man. Hi. Yes, yes, and again, um, I need to thank you. Uh, my wife told me everything of how you have been helping her, how you have been, been uh, everything you've been doing for her, you know. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. you hey. God that will repay you. See, you don't have to worry, eh? You don't have to thank me. Chai. 
Ugoma, your wife is my best friend. If I don't do it for her, who will do it for her? I know. Eh? Like um, our Uibo people used to say, a friend in need is a friend in need. Yes, but well, you don't have to thank no, me. No, I have to thank you at the same time. I have to thank you. I mean, it's not easy to find good people these days. Thank you so much. It's thank okay. you. Thank it's you. Okay. Eh? You're welcome. Eh, but I will still host you. I have to repay you this favor. No, I have to. I have to you, know? <laughs> you don't have no, to. No, no, no. God will definitely place me in a place where I can repay you this favor. Definitely. <laughs> eh? Eh, please. Thank you so much. Thank There's you. There's no problem. Eh, I actually have to be on my way. Okay. Eh, I have certain things I have to tidy up. Eh? Okay. Eh, but please come back again. No? Come okay. back. Let me I'll, host you properly. Okay. Eh? There's no problem. All right. Chai. God bless you. I'm so happy to see you. you. Hey. Bye bye. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Akira, this one you dressed like this. Hey, where are you going to? Well, I'm going to Sopro's house. Sopro? Which Sopro? Which one? Ugonna, are you telling me you are not aware that Sopro and friend is back from prison? Hey! Are you serious? When? How? So you're asking me. Because you know what you did. Now tell me, Obona, now that he's back, how will you face him? Tell me. I I, I thought you have forgotten about this thing now. Eh? He, he was intentional. He, he, he was... You are a fool. You are a very big fool. Am I uh, Soporo or his wife that you were toasting? No, tell me. Obona, let me ask you a question. What if Ugoma tells the husband what you did when he was not around? What will you tell him? I'm asking you. See, uh, see. Let me tell you something. I can take any other thing you are telling me here. But mm, I swear, if you call me a fool again, okay. if you call me a fool one more time, I'm not here. What is it, Seth? Okay. Eh? See, I've, 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 I've apologized to, to you. I see you are calling me fool. Don't try it again. It's not supposed to be planning on how to help each other in, in this thing. You that is going there, if, if you get there, help me. I am, I am, I am, I am your friend. Help me and find out if, uh, if, if, if Sopro's uh, wife uh, has told Sopro anything. Then you come and tell me, I don't know how to come meet him. Simple. You are calling me fool. Good, I heard you clap for yourself. Are you going with me or not? No, I'm not going anywhere. What if I go now and the MO? Okay. Suppose wife has told Suppose, would Suppose break my head? Why are you black and, uh, uh, and wicked at the same time? My son, everything you said here is true. But I want you to know one thing. God created everybody in this world and gave them their characters and their own lives to live. My husband has chosen his own way of life, which is bad. Too bad. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. And no sensible and reasonable human being emulates what is bad. It takes a fool to emulate that. So please, I am here to beg you to forgive him. Please forgive me. I'm begging. Mama, are you in any way trying to suggest that my husband should forgive your husband because I am not understanding? Your father? No, 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 no. Not anymore. He is not my father. Do not make that mistake. Because I disowned him the very day he sent my husband to jail. <laughs> and let me tell you, 
Don't even bother to come here and waste your time because my husband and I will never forgive him. If that's what you're thinking. Mama. I want to ask you a question. And please, just search your heart for the right answers. Is it a crime to be poor? Is it a crime to be poor? Even if I was born poor, at least I worked hard to rise to the top to be rich. I was rich. I had money. Even for the unfortunate incidents that happened that collapsed my business, crippled my business, made me descend to riding my own in-law's keke, your husband's keke. Would he have sent me to jail? Mama, what crime did I commit? What crime did I commit by marrying your daughter? What crime, what crime did I commit by marrying this girl? who happens to be your husband's daughter. What crime? See, Mama, as for me, I have gone to jail. I know what I saw in that prison. I know. I know the unimaginable things that were done to me in that prison. So I have nothing to say to you or your husband, please. I have nothing to say. Please, my son, please. Mama, you know my husband just came back from prison. Hmm? He's very tired. He needs a lot of concentration. Okay? At least he needs five years to rest. So don't come here disturbing our peace again. We need at least five years to recover. to see our in-law. Which our in-law? How many in-laws do you have? Our daughter's husband, of course. Who's your daughter's husband? I went to see Soporo, our in-law. He is back from prison. Soporo? Back from S prison? How come? Has he completed his uh, uh, jail terms? Or does it mean so, your plan is for him to stay there till eternity. And now, why are you so wicked and so me? And Okwego, why? Anyway, now that he has gone there and come back, I'm very sure that he must have learned his lesson. Yes, he has learned that his father-in-law is so wicked and heartless. But let me tell you, you are not their God. And you don't know tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow. But that boy in Sopro has no tomorrow. Because he is not doing any business. He cannot even contest anything in the government. Not even cancel or uh, 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 provost in his own money. Because he is an ex-convict. He cannot contest for anything. So you knew all this, yet you sent him to prison. So what will be the fate of our daughter? Well, whenever she's tired of staying there, she can come back to this house 
After all, there are many men looking for a good wife to marry, and you know our daughter is every man's dream. Simple. You are right. Our daughter is a good girl. She's every man's dream. And that is the more reason she can never leave supper for any man. Yes, because she knows what she wants. Home we fought her. And let me tell you, God will surely bless them. God will surely see them through in one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Beatrice, don't tell me you are proud to have uh, an ex convict as your in law. Ole Jegoronga, you are proud to have Sopro, ex convict, as an in law, son in law. Ha! Una ya for them, a so common. Ex convict. My son in law. Hey! <laughs> my guy! How oh, no. ah, I see your tummy, this guy. I'm happy for you. Well, we thank God, oh, we thank God, we thank God, we thank God. God. Ah, all the time, oh. all the time, my brother, all the time. But so, poor, eh? uh, you see that your father in law is a very wicked man. Uh, uh, please, 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 hey. please, please. Can I please don't spoil my mood now? Don't spoil my mood. You see that man? Don't just spoil my mood by calling his name, please. He has done his worst now. Am I dead? I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm out. Uh -huh. it's not, is he God? He's not God no, now. Uh -huh. But God will judge him. God must man. help me judge him. A There's man. no how God will judge that man for me. Yes. It's not possible that God will not judge him. But just, just leave him. I've left him to God. There's no problem. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, how far now, my guy? What's going on with our guy now, Obuna? Uh, what's going on? I mean, uh, uh, What's going on? He hasn't seen me. I've not seen him since I came back. Uh, hasn't he heard I'm back? Or has he relocated from this village? Because I don't understand. You know, I, I even called him with my wife's phone. And, you know, I, he didn't pick up. So what's happening? So, you don't understand. Obona is away you're back because I told him. But he won't come. Obona is away I'm back? Yes. He's away I'm back? Yes. Ah! Wait, what? no, 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 no. Don't tell me to forget Obona. It's not possible now. Obona is my guy now. He's our guy now. No, 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 no. no. Ah. Ogunna. Yes. Because because I know he didn't come to see me. I you know I understood because they transferred me to the north now. You understand me? Uh -huh. But I understood maybe because of distance or something. But he didn't come there. So ah, and wait to. I asked my wife the same question about Ogunna. You know, before using her phone to call him, and after he didn't pick, you know, I asked her again. She just. You know, she ignored me. You know, she just gave me one kind of attitude and, and left. And every time I ask her, she gives me the same attitude. Sopro, I'll be very glad you forget about Obuna and go on with your life. Please, what is going on? What is going on? Please, what's going on with Obuna? What's, what's really happening? Is there something I don't know? Sopro, trust me, nothing. Then tell me something now. Or better see you ask him when you see him. I'm going somewhere. See you later. I'm happy for you. Sopro! Look happy. What worries you? Of course, I'm not happy. I mean, even though I fight it, it's as if it's as if all hope is lost. You know? No, come on. Don't talk like that. All hope is not lost. In fact, all hope cannot be lost. Because you are alive. Come. 
I've been thinking of something. What is it? You know, since I came back from prison, all I do is sleep, eat, if there's food. You know, I basically do nothing, sleep again. That has been my rotation. You know, I think I've rested enough. It's time for me to you know, go out there and look for something to do to take care of my family. It's not a bad idea. It's, it's good. So what are you looking at? Well, since I came back from prison, I've seen there's been a lot of development around. Yes. You know, new houses are springing up. They are currently working on the roads. You know. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'll just go seek for one job, you know, maybe as a laborer. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll seek for that to be a laborer. You know, at least let something be coming in because <laughs> the money Igwe gave me uh, to, to soon finish, you know. So we've been managing it. I just need to go out there and get something. Yeah. My love, but you know that job <clears throat> is very stressful, though. It's very stressful. Mm -hmm. Every work is stressful. <laughs> Every work is stressful. You're talking about stressful. Didn't you do the job when I was in prison? It's stressful. Didn't you do the stressful work when I was in prison? Uh, that was because I didn't have a choice on how to feed uh, But right now, do we have a choice? Do we? And this is 3,000 Naira for you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, will, I will even add 1,000 more because you work very hard. Thank you, sir. I like your spirit, your strength. Thank you, sir. Take Thank, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you, sir. Okay, okay, okay. What, what kind of thing is this, this one? Why, why are you giving me 2,000 Naira? You're giving... Oga, Oga, wait, wait, calm down. Huh? See, tomorrow, try and come early tomorrow because today, you, you guys came late. See that your friend, that one, eh? What are you, that one? Tomorrow, you guys should come early because if you don't come early and do your work properly, eh? I will change you guys. Maybe I will even bring more workers to this site. Just try. You, you're a good worker. Thank I you, like sir. your strength, I like thank your spirit. You, thank you, sir. Thank Keep you, sir. it up, eh? Thank you, sir. All right. I'll come early tomorrow. All right, sir. all right. See thank you, sir. see you guys. Gayafa, where are you? Where are you? Something you want to buy since. Guy, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like the way you do things. I don't like the way you do things. You're delaying too much. I overheard the contract to make him call that he asked his sister to withdraw 500 and something thousand and keep her home. Where are you? Let's go and get this money ASAP. Guys, stop wasting time. Come ASAP. Let's 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 run this whole thing. You're coming. Okay, okay. I want three of us to go and run this thing. I don't, I don't want any delay. I don't know. Something you want to get since, since. I bet turn up, turn up, sharp, sharp Ali. Turn up, turn up. No problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was what's going on now. Where's Odili? Uh, Odili. He said he, he went to go and buy something. To go and buy what, Wano? Uh, ah, see, see, see. This one is for three of us now. Why would you leave only me here? Please, uh, come, come, come. Uh, which one is... I, mean, I don't enjoy this kind of thing. This one's for three of us now. Uh, hello, sir. I greet you, sir. Ah, uh, okay, don't worry. I have two strong friends. They're very, very strong and hardworking. We'll handle it. We can do it. Please don't give it to someone else. We will do it. I promise. We'll do it very well. We we'll specialize in things like this. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, okay, with this amount you just mentioned there, eh, we're doing it, sir. Okay, sir. You want us to come tonight? Okay, we will. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Oh boy, you don't walk, who? Gee, what's up now? Nah, waiting for the conclusion. Ah, ah, didn't you hear me on the phone talking, discussing with him? He just said that we pay us 20,000 naira a day to do the job. That's a very huge amount of money. He even said we should come to see him tonight. So, my friend, if you're going to see the contractor with us, after that, then you can go home. 20,000? Yes, now. Uh, 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 uh. He said you should come this night. Yes, now. See, uh, guy, uh, I will do this job, no problem. But um, uh, the thing is that um, 
I will do the job. But two of you have to go. You understand? Because me, I can't go home late. My wife will be angry. Yeah, yeah, this guy, what is even wrong with you? What is actually your problem? Uh -uh. We're here talking about good business that will fetch us a good amount of money. You're, 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 you're talking about your wife, your wife. You see, you, see, you see the problem I have with you? I say leave this guy. You're, you're telling him that you want to help him. You want to assist him. Don't worry. You know these married couples. Um, my guy, what we're talking about here is business. So just imagine what 20,000 Naira will do for you every day. And the job is going to last for one year. So 20,000 Naira every day to one year. One year? Yes, now. Nah. One year? You see, so I really want you to do this with us. Do you understand? I need you to do this with us. Like I told you before, I want to help you. If not the love I have for you, I would have contacted someone else to do this no, job. No, well, because no I want to help you. I know, no problem. No, say no more now, no problem. I... No problem. One year. Don't yes, no. no problem. No problem. We'll go. We'll go. No Good. problem. No problem. So be coming down. You two calm down now. Yeah. You two, you two the verse. Calm down now. We sorted out, guy. Uh -uh. Let's just find some place. Yeah. Let's just find one place and relax and take some chilled beer. While we wait for the night. One ball. Yes now. Uh, one ball. Yeah, Get me one ball for the road. Yeah, now. But you will pay, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll take care of it. You You're my friend now. Yeah. husband be eh? this is already midnight when he called me he said he'll be back soon he said he won't stay for long what is keeping him what kind of contract is he in search of eh? I me mean, I don't understand though I don't I don't have strength for another problem or I don't have strength for another cry oh hey God what is all this God God have mercy just bring him back safe Where do I even start from? Good morning, madam. Good morning. Mm, are you Sapri's wife? Yes, I'm, I'm his wife. He's my husband. Where is he? What happened? Did you see him? Because I've been looking for him since last night. Where, 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 where is my husband? No, madam, calm down. Children was involved in an armed case last night and they killed somebody in the process. Right now, he's at the police station. What nonsense are you talking about? How can you say that my husband was involved in a robbery case? Can you hear yourself? 
Please, where is my husband? What, 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 what have you done to my husband? Madam, I didn't come here to exchange words with you. I only came here to tell you that your husband is at the police station. So if you want to see him, go there. Hey! I'm not a criminal, sir. You're having criminal. I'm not, sir. I'm not. Oh, God, stop. What you must say the truth. Sir, I'm not, I'm not a criminal. Say the truth. I'm not a criminal. Sir. Sir.
please. Just do this for me. If anything happens to me, tell my son that his father loved him. Tell my son every single thing. Tell my son what his father went through before he died. You're going to come out of this and I... <laughs> We're going to raise our son together, so please. My son. Please have a strong heart that nothing will happen to you. I believe, my daughter, that you will come out of this alive. Why would we pretend? Mama, why are we going to pretend? Why are we going to pretend? This is a murder case. A case of armed robbery and murder. There's no way out. The people who shot that woman, the people who shot that woman are gone and I'm the only one answering this case. So there's nothing I can do. When I'm gone, get another man to love you as much as I love you. Get another man to be a father to our son. Sakura, you're not going anywhere. You're not. You're going to stay here with me. Nothing will happen to you. Please don't give up on me. Nothing is going to happen Mama, to please you. Stop please. Don't give up on me. I beg of you, Sakura. Don't give up on me. This is not the end of the road. I'm assuring you. Please. Your Majesty, it has happened. It has happened. When I was telling you that that boy is a criminal, nobody believed me. Which boy are you talking about? Soporo, that fool, that idiot that kept my daughter in his house with the name of marriage. So what has he done this time around? Your Majesty, Soporo was involved in a robbery case last night in Amwafo village. What? They even killed one woman. Even as I speak with you now, Soporo is at the police station. Even the police are planning to waste him. This is unbelievable. Sopro involved in armed robbery and he killed a woman to that effect. There must be a mistake somewhere. Your Majesty, there is nothing like a mistake anywhere. There is nothing like a mistake anywhere. That boy is a criminal. He is a thief. When I was shouting, when I was talking, when I was running around the whole community, telling everybody that that boy is a criminal, nobody believed me. Ichi Okwego, I said, if there is anything like that, there is mistake somewhere. I do not believe what you are saying. There's a mistake somewhere. There's a mistake somewhere, you say. Like I said, if you adopted me, send one of your guys to the station and find out. Yes, um, hello DPO. Um, yeah, how, how are you doing? Uh, we are fine, thank you very much. Um, and please, DPO, um, someone came to the palace not quite long ago, and um, he said there was a, uh, an incident of uh, robbery at Amafo village last night. And uh, 
uh, one woman was killed to that effect. Uh, again, there is this uh, uh, boy, Sopro by name, that was said to be involved. I don't. That it is true. Oh, but, um, uh, uh, please, DPO. Uh, uh, I, I want you to do something. Uh, please, uh, I want you to investigate this matter thoroughly and get back to me. Uh, because I am sensing that there is mistake somewhere. That I know. Oh, please do. Uh, thank you very much. I will appreciate it. What are you doing in my house? Huh? What are you doing in my house, Okwego? What are you doing here? How dare you come in here and call my husband names? My husband is not a criminal. I am warning you. My husband is not a criminal and he will never be. You are acting as if you don't know that you're the one responsible for all my problems. All the sufferings I've been going through. You are responsible for it. What are you doing here? Who called you? Did I ask for your help? Yeah. No, did I ask for your help, Okwego? I, have you come here to mock me? Eh? What are you doing here? Ugoma. Okwego. Ugoma, are you mad? Okwego, I am not mad. Okwagara. So, you are still calling this house of a criminal your house? This is my house, eh? and my husband is not a criminal. Anyway, I am not here for any hanky bank. I am not here to exchange words with you. I am coming to take you out of this place before police will come here and arrest you for a crime you did not commit. Did I ask for your help? Go in there, pack your things. I am taking you home. I am not going. This is my home. My husband's house is my home. And my marriage is for better, for worse. In sickness and in health. And for your information, my husband is not dead. I am not going with you. Yeah, your husband's house. Yes. This house of a criminal. Your husband's house. My husband is not a criminal. How am I even sure you're not the one that set him up? How am I sure? Because you can do anything. You are evil. Evil man. Okay. Get out of my compound! I will go, don't Get worry. Get out! Stop when leaving! When comes, you will regret ever stepping your feet into this house. Look, look at him. By that time, that time look he used him. to attire you, will kill you from look your at eyes. Him. Huh? Go and mind your business. Go and okay. take off your kekes. Okay. Useless man. Let me not see your legs here again, oh. Wicked man, wicked soul. Go and pack your things. Let me take Please, your get out and go to your house. Go to your house and leave my compound. Okay. Stop making noise here. Wicked man! <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. My God. God, you are looking at me, oh. God, you are looking at me. You are seeing me. God, you are seeing me. They are mocking me. You are seeing the way they are mocking me. If you like, don't do something, oh. Don't do something. What are you doing here? Get out of my house! <laughs> the 
to see you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? So how did it happen? It happened on that day I went to the bank to withdraw money you sent to us. Um, because um, the contractor needed money for building materials. So I withdrew the money, I brought it home. So that night, ham robbers came. They collected the money. And they shot Mama. Mama is dead. They shot Mama. They shot Mama dead. So those idiots, those animals killed our mother. They killed her and escaped. But I know not all of them escaped. Um, the vigilante caught one of them and took him to the police. He's at the police custody now. He's still there now. Let's go to the police station immediately. Okay. Lock up the door. This is the criminal. You have to take it easy with him. The police is doing their job. You're the criminal that killed my mother! Sir, I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal, I'm not. Young man, I want you to take it easy with him. I want you to calm down earlier. The police is doing their job. Calm down! I'm only a KK driver, that's it. I'm only a KK driver. Please. I only met those boys at the building site. I am not a criminal. God knows I have a good heart. God knows. Hey, brother, brother, wait, 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 wait. Um, what's your name? My name is Sopuru. I'm a KK driver. I've never killed before. I can't kill. I know the value of life. I can never kill. I can never. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not that kind of person. I used to drive KK. Just try. Just try. Just try. Just try. Just try. Hey. Sopuru. Sopuru. Hey. Ross. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me lift you. Hold on, hold on. Go to your other way. Go to your other way. Eh? Ross. Try. 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 Try, sir. Try. Try. Ross. Easy. Easy. Eh? Easy. 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 Enter inside. <laughs> Stay inside there, get him, get him! Get what? What are you getting again? What is slippers? Hold him, oh! Hold him! Hold him! Brother, please, can I, can I see you outside? Brother, please, let me... You don't need... I, 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 I have to do this. Brother, 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 calm down. Calm down. I, I, I need to see you outside. Come. Brother, come. Let's go. Um, officer, please. Um, um, don't be offended. I want to talk to my brother about something. Let's go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Brother, please, let's go. Come. Please, order. Brother, I want to tell you something. Brother, um, there's a problem. There's a big problem. What kind of problem? That guy I saw inside there, mm -hmm. he looks and sounds like the guy that picked you up that night when you had an accident. 
I I'm sure it's, it's the same guy they robbed his keke that night. I mean, I I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But I heard him. I heard him that night. He was saying, um, Sop room, why now? Sop room, sop room. And right now, I heard him saying his name is Sop room. Agatha. Brother? Are you sure? Brother, to be honest, I am not sure. But I am saying his complexion, his voice. I mean, I just, I'm just trying to put one and two together. I think I am not sure. I think he's the one. But for us to be very sure, let's go inside and find out if he's really the one. Agatha, please, I won't, don't want you to put me in any kind of state of confusion. Just be too sure of what you just said. But I'm not very sure, but... Mr. Man, what is your name? What do you do for a living? And why did you join the armed robbery gang? Not a robber. I've never been a robber. Never. I've never even stolen anybody's money in my life. Like I said, my name is Sopuru. I was a rich man. I was doing well in the electronics business. I had three shops in the main market. I was doing so well. Money was never my issue. I had a fiancée here whom I later married. She is my wife today. The very day I came to the village asking my wife's parents for her hand in marriage and they agreed. Days after, I got a phone call from my boys in the market saying the market was burnt. And my three shops burnt as well. I went back and truly there was nothing. My shops were burnt down. And here I was. Owing credit, owing people money because I had bought goods on credit. I begged them to give me time. They refused. So I sold off every single thing I had in the city, including my car, everything. Nothing left for me in the city. I came back to the village. My only confidence and hope was my wife. So I proceeded to still get married to her, even though her father refused and didn't like me. She got pregnant. And we were broke. We we're so broke that we didn't even have money to feed. We didn't even have money for our unborn baby. Then my wife came up with this suggestion that we should go plead with her father to give us one of his keke so I can be driving it and try and make ends meet. Reluctantly, he refused. But I had this keke. Through this keke, I was feeding my wife. I was feeding my family. Then this unfortunate day, while I was going back home, I saw this girl shouting on the road. Her brother was being knocked down. So, I, I stopped. I stopped. Helped him to the hospital. On our way to the hospital, and robbers attacked us. Robbers attacked us and, and took this keke away. Still, still, I, 
I still, I still took him to the hospital. Even after losing this keke. Then, next day, I told my in-law the whole story. He didn't believe me. He said I was a criminal. He said I was a thief. That I sold this keke. And that was how I ended up in prison for five years. Five years I spent in prison without seeing my wife and my child. One month after coming back from prison, I told myself I needed to do something. Then I went in search of my brother's job at a building site. Fortunately, I got the job. That was where I met these boys. I was working with them. I don't know where they live. I know nothing about them. They said we had a business to do. It was a big business in line of, with what we do. I agreed. And they said we were going to meet the man that day. That fateful evening, on getting to see this man, there was nobody. They now told me that I should go and rob with them. I said, no, I will do no such thing. The next thing they told me that they, they knew where my wife was at the time. And one of their boys who killed my wife and my child. If I didn't follow them at that time. That was how I got into this whole mess. I never shot the woman. I never shot your mother. It's okay. It's okay. It's so... Where is your wife? My wife, she's in the house with my child. Please, please, I beg you, don't do anything to her. Don't do anything to her, please. She's innocent. She has suffered enough. Five years without me, please. Don't do anything. I'm not a criminal. I was a rich man. I don't know. So people look at my life now. Just look at I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know why. Life is just like this for me now. Not a criminal. IPO. Please, I want you to soft pedal with that guy. But I don't want anybody to hurt him. There is something I want to soft out. As long as I'm done with that, I'll I'll go. I. I don't understand you. That criminal killed your mother, remember? Sure. I know, I know. But um, I need time to sort out something. Um, yes, my brother is right. Please, be easy with him. Please. And what if my DPO orders me to transfer him to the headquarters? What will I tell him? Besides, he has to provide those his gangs. Oh, don't worry, I'll see DPO and discuss that with him. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, I said so. Uh... You know why? Uh, you can take this. Thank you. Buy drinks for yourself, okay? Thank you so much. It's okay. I will do exactly what you say. Yeah. It's okay. The rest are short. <laughs> All right, thank you, officer. Thank you. Okay. okay. about that guy. He saved your life. Without him, you wouldn't be where you are today. Eh? Because of you, he went to prison. Because of you, our took his keke. Eh? Besides, he, he, he wasn't the one that killed mama. He wasn't the one that killed mama. The day the thing happened, he was even telling me, let's take mama to the hospital, let's take mama to the hospital, before mama died in his harm. So, if I do what you're asking me to do now, who will I help the police to trace those animals? Those criminals that killed our mother? Brother, please allow the police to do their job. They know how to handle criminals. 
Please, see reasons with me, I beg you. You're just trying to push me to, to, to have a rethink about this. Well, you need to... Uh, what, are, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that question. This is my compound. And how is your husband? Is he back? You mean you live here? Yes, this is my compound. Uh, my husband is the reason I'm here. I don't understand. <laughs> what do I have to do with that? My husband is so cool. The man in police custody accused of, of killing your mother. But he's innocent. He's innocent. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You mean Sopuru? The guy that owns the keke? The guy, Amraba, stole his keke. He's your husband. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. But, but, but you told me the other time your husband traveled a long time ago. So what are you saying? I did. I, I know I told you that. But I told you that because I didn't want to bore you with the details. As at the time you asked after him, my husband was in prison. My husband was in prison for five years by my own father who gave him the keke that was stolen. On the night he was trying to help an accident victim. But my father didn't believe his story. And so he went to prison. He just came out and and then this. Um, but believe me, he's innocent. I know, I know, I know. It's fine, it's fine. Please, everything that she has said is the truth. Eh? She's a good woman. People, you people should forgive her. Don't worry, I believe you, I believe her. Uh, but uh, please. Please, 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 please. You know his wife too. Yes, I, I know. No, no, stand up, no, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. She used to be our customer. A man knew her too. But uh, we have to do something. You've, please. you've read her yourself. It's okay, madam. I have heard you. I will think about it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. My bless. husband is a good man. I know. He's a good man. No, it's He's okay. a good man. It's okay. I, I know. I know. He's I know. a good man. It's innocent. It's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's 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 okay. Don't worry. We'll, 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 we'll. Right? It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sopuru is my love. My love for him is better for us. No buy it can No, no. I'm going to eat in Yazelo. Um, Your Majesty, I am very sorry that I disturbed your sleep. I asked you to summon this meeting for two or three reasons. No, uh, uh, you shouldn't uh, bother yourself. Uh, you are sounding as if there is thunder in the sky. Just go ahead and tell us why you ask us to come to this circle. Thank you so much. Your Highness. First, I want to let everybody here know that um, I have fixed it for my mother's burial. That's the rest of peace. Thank you. Uh, her burial is there in two weeks' time, precisely 14th of next month. Secondly, I, I want to let you all know that um, those armed robbers have been caught by the police. Oh, good job. And uh, in an attempt to escape, they were shot dead by the police. Um, thirdly, um, Sopor, I want you to take a very closer look at my sister here and tell me if you can recognize her. Apart from that very night that you guys came to the house, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I I don't think I recognize her. I don't can't remember ever seeing her. You see your life? So you see your life? How can you recognize her? Maybe she's one of the, those girls you promised marriage and ran away. 
Now she has caught up with you. No. Julia, he's a deceiver. I beg your pardon, old man. Look at you. Look at you, you're just ranting, making noise. You're such a heartless, useless, wicked man. That is what you are. Mama. Yes, you. Just imagine, you sent your son-in-law to jail just because of ordinary keke. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Now let me tell you, in case you don't know. First off, I need to apologize to Soporo. Soporo, please. We're very sorry, okay? Um, my brother and I, we are the people you picked up that night. Yes, on our way to the hospital. I'm very sorry about everything. I'm very sorry that the ham robbers took your keke because of us. We're sorry about it. You know, I overheard you calling your name that night, supper room, supper room. And when we got to the police station, I heard you still saying supper room, supper room. That was why I called my brother to the corner and told him that we should look into your matter. Please, we are very sorry about it. We are sorry about everything. You... You... Wait. Relax. It's just okay, Sopro. Just relax, okay? You see... Everything my sister just said was exactly how it happened. True. Yes. Um, Sopro, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for saving my life. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And I have settled your case with the police after those boys confessed that you were never part of them. They only roped you into that incident. Right now, you are a free person. So you're free to go. Once again, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I, I am the one thanking you here for saving my life. Thank you. So thank you. Um, I oh am yeah. your highness. I am indeed you are a good man. I want to appreciate your effort so far for remembering what uh, Sopro did. In the recent past. Um, of course, without um, Sopro, your success story won't be complete in the first place. Yeah. I appreciate your effort. Thank you. Um, having said that, Ichi Okwego, you have heard it all. I warned you, but you didn't listen. I want you to uh, take home to Sopro a tangible thing Peace him and his wife. And that he must do immediately. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will mm -hmm. uh, call my dad to uh, service you in a very good way. Let there be some middle. That's a problem. Now we are done with our mother's burial. I called for this meeting. And I'll go straight to the purpose. If I ask you to go back to the city to start your business all over again, how much will you need? Um, you know. <clears throat> This country now, things are hard. To get money is, is hard, you know. But um, if I have, you know, like two or three million, you know, two or three million, uh, it's enough for me to start. It's enough for me to go back and, and, and start my life again. I'll pick up from there. So if I should give you two or three million naira now, that would be enough for you to start all over? Two or three million. Mm -hmm. Me, if I have two, two or three million, huh? In less than forty-eight hours, I'll be out of here now. What, what am I doing here? I'll go back to the city now. I'll go and meet my friends on the same line now. Kalistus Johnny, I'll, I'll deposit something with them now. Uh, they'll give me goods uh, to, to start off my life. I, I will be out of here. What are we doing here? Two or three, two or three million. Mm, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, that's okay. I will, I will give it to you. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Just like that. Thank you. No, 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 come on, no, 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 no
Please, 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 please. It's okay. Sit. Hey. Please. Sit. Hey. It goes like that. Oh. Sit. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, it's nothing to worry yourself it's about. Okay. It's nothing to worry yourself about, okay? I mean, your husband deserves even more than hey. that. It's okay. <laughs> what bank do you use, please? Bank. Bank. Uh, 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 Sites Bank. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is your account uh, um, number? Um, um, Account um, number. Account um, number. Um, um, I'm sorry. Account number now. Four eight nine. Um, um, two nine. Uh, uh, two one. All right. I have sent the two million naira to you. Thank yes. you, bro. Thank, ah. thank God. God, God. No, God. come on. No, 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 madam, stop. Bro. Madam, thank stop. You. No, 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 please. Thank you. God bless Sit. you. Come on, now. Sit down. It's okay. Okay. Doctor, help me Sit. thank him okay. now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, God. Hey, bros. So, you can manage that, okay? Bros, bros, wait, wait. God. Bros. Um, um, um. Sorry, I, I, I know you made a mistake. The, the zero, zero is too much here. This, I know what I transferred to you. Just manage it. See, this is... No, this is too much. Twenty million. Hey! Twenty million. Ah! Ah! Thank you. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 come on, come on, it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 madam, no, no, please, please. No, 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 madam, come on, madam, please. Thank you. Ah, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you. It's okay. Twenty million. I said. Hey! 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 Saburo! Saburo, come on! It's nothing! <laughs> oh my god. I'm loving this look, oh. I'm loving this look. Really? Look at this serious artwork on your face, eh? You have not seen anything yet, eh? <laughs> Wait until I start showing you. Eh. In fact, that city, yes. I am slain into it. Slay. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've heard you say the slay. My you. wife say it shocked you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, sir. And what in God's name are you doing in my house, Opego? What are you doing here? Don't know how are you? My son in law. How are you? Can I sit down? Let's sit down, sit down. <clears throat> My lovely daughter, go man. Mm -mm -mm. Don't. Don't. I won't have you call me that. I am not your daughter. You cease to be my father. I told you that a long time ago. Don't make that mistake. Keep my name out of your mouth. Uh, my son-in-law, Sopolo, please, I want you to calm my daughter down, my wife. I know she's angry with me. And um, the reason I'm here is to come and apologize to both of you. Because I know I have offended you in a big way. My conscience is disturbing me. I can't sleep at night. Mm. Anytime I go to bed, from night till morning, I will be awake because of what I did to both of you. Please, my lovely daughter, I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. My son-in-law, Sopro, I also want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please. I am very, 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 very sorry. Oh, you are my son in law, and you are my lovely daughter. Anytime I remember what I did to you, my, please, my wife, please, talk to me. Mme, please forgive your father. Do not allow him to commit suicide. Did you say suicide? Yes. He nearly committed suicide. He already hung himself. When I walked in and saw him, I started shouting. And by God's grace, people rushed in and brought him down. 
he would have been dead by now. Your father has no peace anymore, like he told you. He doesn't sleep at night. He sits only in talking to himself, like a madman. These are the things I'm witnessing in him recently. Honestly, he regrets everything he did. I apologize on his behalf also. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive him. My daughter, if your father commits suicide because of you, it will be an abomination. I'm begging, I'm pleading. My son-in-law, I know how painful it is. But please, I'm begging, you people should please forgive him. Please, mom. What I want to know. You sent me to jail. Five years. Five years. Five freaking years. What was my crime? Okay, go. What was my crime? Fate and love. I know what I saw in that prison. Things you would not even imagine would happen to your enemy. I saw in that prison. Happened to me. says love your enemies and pray for them pray for those who persecute you and pray for those who persecute you Okwego. I say this before God other day you wouldn't want to make your mother a widow. So please, if you love me, if you love our child, to raise our child in the ways of God, you will forgive this man. You will let go of this body. Thank you. 